Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final, final of uh, Speed Gaming Live 2022 here in lovely Herndon, Virginia. I am Apathy Duck, and I'm joined today by Emo Saro. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm excited to watch this race between uh, known gamers Maniacal and Ineb. Um, <laughs> this is... Uh, <laughs> This is going to be a sick one. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't see the back of his, his head today, so there's not going to be no sweet Mega Man burns. No, I know. I know. But Andy, uh, as he's more commonly known, is uh, also an excellent gamer, so him and Maniacal will have a great match, yeah. I'm sure. And we're also joined by uh, A0 here, uh, also in the SMT3 tournament. He will be tracking for us today, the most important person. And I think we're going to get started. Uh, we've got some time at the beginning to do some chit-chat anyway, so let's get this uh, kicked off. But yeah, it should be a really exciting match. Uh, Andy and Maniacal, obviously, just uh, like execution-wise, just incredibly solid runners, really good runners. Uh, what I'm excited about for this match is, I would say these are probably two of the more like cerebral players as well. Uh, Maniacal definitely like thinks about a lot of stuff, and uh, it sound a little mean, but it's not like necessarily that Andy thinks about a lot of stuff, but a lot of it just comes like innately to him. He just like mm -hmm. there's like certain like routing things he do, and I just like I would never think about that. Like uh, some of the routing stuff I've seen him do over the course of the tournament. So uh, one thing I'm be looking out for is uh, Andy's done what I would say like some anti-meta plays here uh, so far in the tournament, like opening up for Brainstar. So we'll see if we'll, we'll see that again. Uh, this is normal mode, so uh, we're not going to see any suitless uh, Meridia or Hell runs uh, by logic, but they can still always do them. Um, so should should be fun. Yeah, absolutely. I think Andy's got one of those brains that's built for rando, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Both so for, for better and for worse. So but, incorrectly but, built brains. Well, you know, it depends what your goal is. But uh, in this case, our goal is to find all the items in Super Metroid and A Link to the Past. And well, for that, all, for uh, that, well, the ones we need. Some of but them. for that purpose, uh, both of these gamers have excellent, excellent brains. <laughs> so excellent brains. I am less familiar with the combo randomizer. That I'm is true. I'm quite familiar with the Link to the Past randomizer. But... Um, I've come to understand that, generally speaking, the thing that we would expect to see happen pretty much Is right Andy away. Is in mood falling incorrectly? Yeah, that's... Right. So we would generally expect people to go straight to A Link to the Past. Yeah. Right. But Andy is doing the thing he did the other day right. uh, again, which is he's going to go check a couple things in Brent Star. Yeah, he's been doing this, uh, I, I, I guess, all tournament. Like I said, it is kind of anti-meta. If you spike something here, it could be big. He got a mirror down here yesterday. Um, didn't really pay off all that much for him. Uh, uh, his opponent ended up doing pretty much the same thing. It was kind of like forced to come here. Mm -hmm. uh, but he didn't really like need it early or anything. Does pff, And again, we get a... I hate this kid so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just a burning passion. Uh, sword is probably like one of the, like besides like a glove or something huge, like even like morph. Uh, sword is pretty high up on my list of things I would want here. Uh, one of the things you can do is like... Uh, Sometimes you want to just like do Uncle and uh, escape right away. So it definitely yep. lets you do that. Nyako gets four bombs on this tree pull. Does went to straight to um, Sanctuary coming here. Uh, normally I see a lot of runners start with the Uncle play to get that free tree pull. There is the tree pull there too as well. So um, both of these I would. I mean Nyako is certainly more on meta here, but. Uh, I feel like most players start with maybe it's just me, and I just assume everyone does the same thing because it's obviously correct. But uh, yeah, uh, starting off here, uh, so Andy's got his sword. It's gonna be yeah really helpful early. Uh, so yeah, I mean right off the bat, I would say Andy has a little bit of an early lead. I think we'll definitely get that sword. Well, I'd say definitely. Uh, you can do Brin skip sometimes in this. It's a really big time save. So. Uh, we'll, we will see what happens. Uh, Maniacal is does tend to rush Brinstar though when it becomes available mm -hmm. with Morph. So I wouldn't really expect that. I think there's a lot of early game checks in A Link to the Past that just in general are made substantially easier, quicker, yeah. less mentally taxing, right? I mean, one, one of the you know the big ones for me, you mentioned Escape. I think the mini Moldorm Cave, right? Sure. Another one where, you know, if you are not equipped with a sword or a hammer or some other sort of, you know, infinite ammo weapon, right? Suddenly finding those bombs, collecting those resources, making sure you have a good stock before you bombs. go. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> you know, is a thing that people are concerned about. W once you get that sword, you're just sort of feeling like, okay, the the first part of this game is on autopilot. I can do whatever I need to do. Yeah, There's and really the, nothing to worry about. Especially with Mini Moldorm, like, you need a lot of, like, early in the, the seed, you're looking for bombs and you're looking for money uh, a lot of times. Um, just, like, Mini Moldorm, you know, takes, like, one bomb to get in and then, like, generally three to kill all the Moldorms in there. Yep. Uh, so it just reduces the stress on, like, your the amount of bombs you need. But, of course, this tree pole a kind million, of also, A yeah. million bombs. So. Yeah, I believe that is the tier three. Um, so you won't necessarily get that again if you kill four enemies. Michael getting some missiles. 
Uh, early on, so generally in these seeds, the way they start is you either get uh, SM access with Morph Ball, or you get like a Dark World access with the standard Dark World mm -hmm. uh, stuff. Um, and then uh, the other thing besides Morph Ball you need is you basically need uh, really uh, Super and a Power Bomb. There's a Power Bomb there. There is a guaranteed Super and Power Bomb and Missile, I think, in, in Sphere Zero. And he did check Uncle, right? He did it first? I believe so. Yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. That'd be, that'd be a little odd. The responsible person to my left is indicating yeah, that yes, okay. he did. Yeah, so. once again, Tracker's uh, definitely carrying the team here. Well, nothing in Kakariko so far. I mean, I feel like you're always going to well, see. You're always yeah. going to find at least something there, right? right? I think. I think that it's one of those places where there's just so many checks. Yeah, so many checks that you're gonna you're gonna find at least something, at least one good thing there. It's very rare that you don't. So, getting this, I'm always happy but annoyed when I get the speed booster uh, first. Um, it does open a couple of checks. Uh, you can like go through Brinstar. Uh, potentially, you, well, if we get the Varrior and some Darf, uh, Death Mountain, actually, you can even like do some uh, Morphless. Uh, upper Norfair, but uh, it, yeah, it's just like you don't want speed and not morph, so you know it, it's always because just those checks become inefficient. But it maybe we can do a brinscape at that point because you have cleared some of it, so mm -hmm. it's a bit annoying to get first. Uh, it's not 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 as annoying as screw attack. That one's even worse because it opens up another check uh, down uh, down criteria that's kind of like off by itself. Yeah, that's interesting. So. You know, I, I because I'm less familiar with the SM side, I know like on the link of the past side, right? Right. You know, early mitts and moon pearl is one of the things that you sort of hate to see because it opens up a ton of stuff, but in kind of an inconvenient way. Right. You know, what's the what's sort of the SM equivalent of that? Like if there's a it's set of things you get early that just open up a little bit too much, right? And make it you Yeah, know, too so open. like there are there are the times of like it feels like the standard SMZ three seed is like you find more fall, then you go do some early SM stuff, you find your dark world. Then like you get a suit, you do that, and then you get your other suit, and then you do the other the other, the other area. Uh, the one thing that's kind of annoying is when you get like a suit before Morphfall because it's mm -hmm. like not only did I open up all my normal stuff, I also have like potentially like upper nor or Norfair or maybe even like only half of Meridia because you need like speed booster or, or ice to really get back to a, a bot wound. Uh, so I would, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean you're never mad to see a suit. You just always got you're you know you're glad to see it. it's gonna make the seat easier. But yeah, having a suit like. Uh, early on with Morph Ball before you've done any SM checks could be a little bit of like, well, where do I actually go? Right. Honestly, the worst thing is super late morphs and then you have like only one or two items and you have all of SM and it just becomes a pick em of like who goes to the right area. Um, those are the ones that are the most annoying to me. So hopefully we'll see a morph early on. Yeah. So Maniacal coming in with those gloves through the back of Escape. Andy actually making his way over there through the front of Escape. We'll see if he finds that key over here. It looks like he will. Yeah. So um, Andy actually going to be trading places with Maniacal here in just a second. Yeah, uh, going to the back of Escape like that is probably going to be a little bit more beneficial for Maniacal because I think there's only two in the front. Uh, I think there was the map up there as well. So when yeah. like I check the back like that and there's only like two, I really deprioritize front of a Escape. But we might be this might just be Uncle or he might be doing both. We'll see what he... I was saying about how he could put this off. It looks like he's just going to go for it. Just hearts. I think that was tier two now. I don't know if he killed enough stuff for that to be tier two. I think that was tier one because the hearts was It might have been, yeah, but... Um, yeah, should have killed probably one extra rat or something if he was thinking about pulling this. I mean, knowing about that, those hearts is not a you know not a bad thing. You know, there are a few... Yeah, but he already knew about it earlier. Oh, did he already yeah, see the hearts? Yeah. From, okay. That's why I can't I think of like any situation where I'm going to... Uh, why is he bombing these guys? That I'm not sure. He might want to check what they drop. Um, or he, maybe he just hates his bombs. Like he just like. Oh, he might have. Yeah, I mean, he might have been trying to do a faster setup to go get another tree pole here on the way out. Oh, he's trying to get another tree pole. Yeah, right. So oh, he wants the tier three again for the the, the a lot of bombs. Right. Yep. Okay. He was just trying to be swaggy by trying to bomb him instead of just picking up the pots, and uh, it did not work well, out. Well, I mean, I think, it, you know, the nice thing about bombs, right, is they're doing work for you while you're doing other stuff. So I think... If you hit the guy, well, sure. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But I think that's what, that was the plan, right? Yeah, the that's plan, what I'm saying. He was trying to be a little... The plan was to be efficient, and had he succeeded, he would have been. That would have looked really cool. Yeah, unfortunately, had it worked, it would have been amazing. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah, it looked like that. Not so much. 
Meanwhile, Andy is doing a sad walk through the dam here. This is just one of those screens that I hate doing without boots. It just feels very unsatisfying. Then he nudged the door. Or didn't snap into the door. Oh, you know. Shameful. Another super pack. A lot of early ammo. It's always good to see. You like having early ammo. Um, it's, it's Early ammo in... Uh, fast cannon is actually really big because uh, a lot of times if you, you know if you don't find charge, <clears throat> a lot of times like oh well like I'll go to GT and like I'll hope to get like a super pack or two in there, uh, but since we don't have that, just the ammo in general becomes uh, way more important, and I uh, definitely learned that one the the hard way in in this tournament. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Um, go mode super on Croc was not not a fun time not, for me. Not so good for you. No. I think we we can see why Maniacal was so invested in trying to farm up for the tree pull there because he is committed now to doing the uh, yes. front of escape with bombs, yeah. um, which is not terribly difficult, but it is resource intensive, right? And if anything right. goes wrong, it becomes very resource intensive very, very quickly. So, um, you know, having access to that four bomb tree pull is, you know, huge for, for doing this. It's about as convenient as you can make it. Yeah, and you can really see that sword uh, paying off for Annie, just how much faster he did all this. Is Maniacal... I'm pretty sure the map was Zelda Cell. Oh, okay. He, he'd already yeah, it down. He, yeah, he had counted. I will assume he counted correctly. I don't know if Ace remembers if it was. It was yeah, Ace confirmed it was, it was mapped down yeah. there. So it looks like we got, we got two crystals, one of them red, and then a Metroid boss up at Hera. Yeah. I think Eastern was a red crystal. Yeah. As as far as the crystals versus boss, they're both required. The red crystals are obviously the most important. Yep. The only time the crystal boss thing matters is sometimes you want to do like an early Mother Brain. Um, it's just like you're already an SM and you can do it if you have like all the equipment and it's never going to get faster. So, um, but that's it. Like it's, you know, we kind of just consider them to both be quote unquote crystals. The fact that one's a boss is, yeah, I would say it's nice. The only other thing it's nice when the, the bosses are in a link to the past because, uh, for whatever reason, the, uh, boss token cutscene is shorter than a, even a crystal. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It's like. It's like the fastest one. Like, does it just the, not have the crystal? Because I know the the, yeah, crystal, the crystal rise is yeah, truncated. It doesn't, it doesn't and, have any. Yeah. I think it's more like catching a pendant. Gotcha. Like you, just, you just catch it and you go, so it's super quick. Um, so that's neat. Yeah, I mean, it's not anything you can optimize. It's just luck of the draw, and both players have the same thing. But it's always just like nice that like, oh, I don't have to stay here for nearly as long. That's convenient. Yeah. No, that's great. Um, so oh, we saw. Bee. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying the bee. The bee was coming for Andy. Andy and this part of the world have a storied past um i think everyone is a storied past of this part of the yeah, world yeah but very few people have had solsky like hire crabs to take a hit out on our boy <laughs> and uh andy has definitely been the victim of some some foul play in this part of hyrule and there's the got to be a crab pun in there some he got pinched I don't know. Uh, no, you're really no. reaching yeah that's not good how's no. your fly <laughs> I'm sitting down, okay? <laughs> Later in the race, I'll tell the story behind that and why it's so funny for the people in the front of the audience. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> so at any rate, um, the sword, you know, paying big dividends for Randy. I mean, just again, Randy. the ability or for Randy. Uh, Call him that the rest of the race. Yeah. I don't care. Oh, our good friend Randy. Yeah. Known gamer Randy. Um, yeah, no, the sword pays lots of dividends here. I mean, being able to fend off the crabs if you need to. Yeah. Being able to chop a bush to get out of the way of something if you need to really yeah, quick. Yeah, again. Being able, I mean, it just, it just it all adds up. It, it's not, you know, really doing much for him progression-wise, but just in terms of... I actually think even beyond just the speed and the safety, it's like the the lack of mental fatigue associated with it. Sure. At the beginning of something like this it's is sometimes huge. Especially at the end of a tournament. Like, I mean, we've been going nonstop for four days here. Both Maniacal got to... Uh, I believe uh, both of them got to the top eight yep. of, of the Link to the Past, too. So they've had a lot of races. So, yeah, just having that sword and not really having to think about it early definitely is uh, going to help a ton here. Yeah, one thing I had not thought about, you know, when coming here was if you are a, 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 a gamer of yeah. some no notoriety, right, and you have ended up late in multiple tournaments here, the schedule and the, yeah. the amount of uh, work and time that you're having to put in is just, uh, frankly... Uh, staggering, yeah. right? I mean, you know, we were up incredibly late last night, right, watching another race from Andy. You know, he's gotten sort of the late night shift yeah, uh, yes. twice, and, and Maniacal was also playing quite late. Um, and uh, 
you know, it, it's, it is a grueling schedule. So I think, you know, anything that you can do in a race like this to take a little bit of the mental fatigue off, honestly, at this stage of the game is actually kind of significant. Yeah, I, I, def I definitely think so. Just, uh, like, God forbid we have, like, a long seed here. It, yeah. you know, it, it might get pretty rough towards the end. Um, the other thing is we're kind of running out of checks here. I think we have, I mean, we could do some shenanigans. Well, minor shenanigans to Darkroom to get up to Death Mountain, but that's out of logic. Um, and then it's we have Eastern, and then it's looking yep. like that speed might actually be a thing. I wouldn't mind uh, doing the speed check before Eastern here. Uh, Eastern, yeah, Eastern is a crystal. Mm -hmm. uh, when Eastern is a pennant, I don't mind just doing because it it's like I'm probably not coming back here. Like it's pretty unlikely. Right. Um, especially uh, I mentioned this yesterday as well that uh, because we've added a hundred locations in SM, but we haven't added the same proportion. Like there's less right. important items. Yep the value of any given check is less in this than a link to the past, past and randomizer. So for the chance for something like, you know, Armos, Pendant Armos having uh, an item, I mean, obviously it does happen, it, but th those are usually the very gross seeds for SMG3. Um, you know, if it's Pendant Eastern and like you're kind of running a check here, like I don't mind just going in it because it's like, it's probably mm -hmm. something. And like, there's, it's very, very unlikely I have to come back. But for Crystal, you have to. So uh, in this situation, I think going to Brinstar would be my choice here, but um, I also would have put off Sasha until I did Eastern, so for me, be, the waiting would be a little different. But um, I think when you're walking, I tend to, to you know be inclined. If I'm going over there, I'm just yeah. Gonna I, go like in, to, I like to do them at the same time. I've I've had some pretty. I had like go mode mitts on on back of Sasha one time, yeah. which was uh, <laughs> quite quite the thing. I think it'll be interesting because Andy's coming around the world from this direction, right? Um, you know, he might be a little bit more tempted. Um, having already done South Shore, you know, coming in here at this point, he might be a little bit more tempted to maybe make that Death Mountain play. Um, it's not the fastest time to do it, but at the same time, he's only really getting two checks up yeah. there. He gets the save and quit point, well, which might be useful later. It's so. three. There's the there's a well. There's the old man, and then and then um, no. There's one in Super Metro too. You can do. Oh there. right, because yeah. yeah, we there's get the, the portal, portal there. Yeah, yeah. without yep. more fall, you can do the first item in high jump. Um, so it does add that. The thing is, that's out of logic and like. Uh, the Brinstar checks are one, two, three, four, it's like five or six, something okay. like that. So the, yeah, Brin so the Brinstar is much more likely in, in, in this scenario, especially since he just, he's already kind of cleared so much. He just got that speed. Um, like when Maniacal, and Maniacal is going to be making this play, mm. uh, Maniacal also didn't do, I, I assume we're going to see, uh, going left. I mean, Maniacal also hasn't checked the, the two spots Andy has, um, but those are no more. Uh, well, uh, the speed does put the top one in logic, which is not in logic in normal. Mm -hmm. um, but that was not. That was just an E tank. So I assume we're probably just going left here to some of these burn checks, which is again it's annoying because like you kind of have to probably come here twice. So generally you don't want it. Oh, I mean he's proving me wrong. He's going down first. This is interesting. I wonder if he's gonna. There is a, a short charge you can do to uh, check this uh, mother brain item. It's pretty tricky. Um, you have to do like a sword charge through this door here, and then you have to push down. I think it's I think it's frame perfect to to actually drop down there, and you can like shine spark and get it. He's not he's not going for it. So well, that's a very short charge if it's what I now understand you. You to can be break about. that you can break that door with speed. So okay. you go left, right to left, break it, and you come back. I see. So gotcha. it's, it's not nearly as bad as okay. you think it is. Pretty. Uh, I've only had it pay off once. It's it's really and it's really hard to do. So it does get this sword. Not like, you know, it does have it, obviously happy to have it. It's not really going to pay uh, Maniacal off nearly as much as it is Andy. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, he's going to be, if he's, we get to like Dark Orb sooner or something. But uh, the thing is, we only have one out of three uh, Dark World access uh, items where Morph uh, just opens up. Like, Morph opens up so much by itself. Like, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's, it's the true that Morph opens up more items than anything else by itself in, in either game. Um, so that's why you see more first so often, and then you tend to have your Dark World in um, early uh, SM. Right. So it looks like Andy is going to make the choice to head into Eastern Palace. Yeah, so this is right here, this is the first like big divergence here. Yep. So one of these guys is going to be significantly ahead after, after this one. And, uh, or like, or I mean, they could both be, yeah, they can both know, find some parallel progress, you know, and we'll see what, see what occurs. Yeah, it's going to be hard to find parallel progress. Oh, he, okay. So it looks so like we're yeah, going for it. We are so. going for it. I think because he got that, uh, oh, well, okay, he's just okay. going to bail on it. That's the easy part, so I think if he's going to miss the easy part. Oh, it's interesting. They both do Behemoth Climb. 
this is like exactly the same. I mean, Behemoth does it, and he's mm -hmm. you know ten seconds. At one point, he had the world record. I'm pretty sure he got the first forty. Uh, so they're they're just as uh, fast as each other. It's just a preference thing. Mm -hmm. Some people for doing the multiple wall jumps for oh well, there's your morph ball. If I was Andy, I'd bail right here. Um, well, no, no, that's not true. I would go check right because you kind of have to like I would check right and I would bail after right. I don't want to do the rest of Eastern here once I find morph like that opens up so much. Um, and I basically haven't really double dipped at this point. And we are going to see. So it's going to be very unlikely. Yeah, anything Maniacal finds down here. The problem is just Annie's also likely to do Burnstar at some point. Like, he's definitely going to do Burnstar at some point. Um, yeah, Spazer's nothing to write home about. It's nice. Nice to know it's there. We can pick that up easily later if we just reset down out of here. Uh, he didn't save at the ship, so if he finds nothing down here, if he wants to keep that sword, he's going to have to walk all the way back up. Mm -hmm. So I think that was probably a mistake. I think that's one thing that's always interesting to me about watching these SMC3s, because we, we use um, we use save and quits quite a lot in Rando as a mm -hmm. travel, in Link to the Past, sorry, right. as a travel mechanism, right? Right. And I think... SMC3 makes much more heavy use of save and quits in, or saves in Metroid as a, like, fast, you know, fast bail option, right? Like, it, it's sort of closer right. to the save scumming type of thing that we would do, you know, on the Link to the Past side with, say, the Mushroom or something like that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the time saves just seem huge for some of well, those it's things not when so you can avoid backing out. The problem in, S so in Link to the Past, like, your progress is always saved as long as you hit, like, save. Like, you just don't reset your console in the middle of something as long right. as you're saving everywhere. And Super Metroid, if you die or just hit reset, right, uh, none of that progress is saved. So you have yeah. to, like, tag yourself to a, a spot. And uh, basically, whenever uh, you transition into Super Metroid or out of Super Metroid, it sets your save point as the ship. So you have to specific like if you don't have a specific mm -hmm. save set somewhere, you have to like resave. Right. And like if you have one set at like let's say you saved in Upper North or something, if I leave and come back, that save is gone. So if I reset in when I come back to SM, I'm still going to the ship. Space jump is nice. It's, uh, this is at least gives. So when I'm saying he didn't reset, it's a mistake. A space jump is at least worth enough. Mm -hmm. That like he would be saving this anyways, right? Just because he'll he'll want it when he comes back to SM, right? Uh, so he's gonna have to work his way over to uh, Eastern now to get his morph. Yeah, that is unfortunate. I I would have done what Maniacal. Like I said, I was preferring this play. Um, so uh, kind of unfortunate. I think this was probably the better thing to do here, but uh, it's just gonna pay off a lot for Andy. He's already got, and he's going straight to Brinstar, so he's gonna get this space jump, assuming he doesn't die here. This is yeah, pretty low health, so it's gonna slow him down a little bit. Yeah. This is pretty tricky here with this this acid. Yeah, to like take no damage. That was nicely done, actually, mm -hmm. to only take like 12. Now let's see what back of a uh, gauntlet has for us today. No, oh, that was uh, some nice quick drops by Andy. He is he's, a gamer. He is gaming. And then he does this. <laughs> I'm getting a little, nice little high five here. Yep, so Andy wow, like right grabbing the door. That's yeah. That's pretty nice. Yep, grabbing that spacer from the opposite direction as they uh, crisscross. Yeah. So uh, this is the by no, this is a very very long game. We're we're likely to be here for uh, definitely over two hours, but mm -hmm. uh, very. This is a substantial early lead for Andy. The, the, you know he got the sword, and more importantly he got the morph uh, directly. So uh, Manako's gonna have to go all the way over here and like. You know, a lot of times in like in these like, if you get your thing a little bit later, as long as you're clearing things, your opponent is likely to clear. Uh, it doesn't matter; you're just gonna get the time back anyways. The problem is like, he was only able to do half that Brinstar stuff, and like SM doesn't have nearly as many like warp points or anything. So like, Maniac's gonna have to run back down through all this anyway. So this is this is just straight up time loss. That's why people players really don't like doing uh, early Brinstar at yeah. all. So wave beam on Andy's side. Yeah, wave wave spacer is re really really nice. Uh, matters a little bit less until you get um, charge beam. Like well, like honestly, like for, as far as like mother brain uh, mother brain beam, um, wave spacer is, is good enough to, to do enough mm -hmm. damage that you're not yeah. going to be sitting there for for years. And he's already got 25 supers, so like um, assuming we find charge, uh, this beam will be plenty for the rest of the seed. But it's always nice to see plasma. Ice has a bunch of utility. 
Uh, ice also gets in your way. A lot of times you don't want to see ice early just because you're freezing everything and that can slow you down. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see players just turn off ice early if they don't need it. Oh, there's that morph ball. Let's see if he bails. Yeah, yep. I, I, I like this bail. How much did, did Andy keep going after right start or he just bailed after right? I think Andy went as far as the big chest. Then, yeah, I believe that's correct, yes. Um, so a little, he's getting a little time back here. So, yeah, uh, you can see uh, Maniacal not too far behind. Uh, you know, he'll be able to save, yeah, I mean, I'm saves a little time from some of these checks. But, like, again, you kind of, you know, he's going to go right. I don't know if this is, this is at least a landing site, which Andy wasn't able to do. Uh, we'll be able to do when he comes back up here. I Pretty unlikely for Andy to. Sometimes you, this is this one's really e easy to remember if you get if you don't get a can fly or speed till very late. Mm -hmm. um, so, but Andy's gonna have it. He's gonna come back up at some point. So I, I really doubt this is gonna get ice. It's just a missile. Yeah. So for anybody who doesn't know what can fly is, when you just say it really casually <laughs> like that, because it's actually a like term in the logic. Right. right? It's like right. literally a function in the logic. Um, my understanding of it, just to check myself, uh -huh. right, is so we have speed booster, right? So I, I can shine spark. Right. Um, I don't think speed booster is a can fly, though. Is I it, it was not? just space and... and okay. I, and so it's like omnidirectional. You have to be able to go like freeform. I, I believe basically. so. I, thought, I think can fly is just strictly... Uh, so it would be space jump and, and, uh, bombs. and bombs yeah. to, to bomb jump. Okay. And then there's certain there's one location uh, GT missile is hard locked by uh, space just because that's the way it's in the vanilla. Like, it doesn't actually make sense. You can get over there, mm -hmm. but just like if you went in the vanilla game, you have don't have space jump and you get over there. Um, there is an ice open. rod. Yeah, ice rod is early. Uh, you can just go ahead and mark Turtle Rock as a pendant right now, Ace. Just to get <laughs> that out of the way. Every if you find it first, I, I swear to God, it's every time it's a pendant. So, but what if it isn't? What if it isn't? Now is Maniacal going for so my my so uh, we could this could be a pendant. Uh, generally, what kind of is settled into the meta is you just go down to Crate and you can pause and check uh, Dragon. If you pause and check Ridley, and then most people just Crate is so fast and has like four items back there. Mm -hmm. Most people just blind kill Crate and if it's a pendant, then whatever. Like it's the world's quickest pendant dungeon at that point, and it's got it's pretty loaded with items. Um, just doing Fantoon blind is a bit of is surprising. It does get that ice rod out of it. Uh, so Picking up that small shield when he could see it is an interesting choice to me. I do like having one shield, to be fair. Like there are three of them. Yeah, there are three of them, but I, I do like having the one. And we're going with this short charge here. It's a little now it doesn't oh, get the yeah. mock ball portion. There's our plasma. So that's Spazer. <laughs> Man, that's when Spazer and Plasma are right next to each other. It just you just feel bad for 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 plasma. Andy uh, making his life harder by killing those guys and then not doing the D-boost. Shameful. Poor Andy. Yeah, I know. Imagine not knowing tech. No, it's not that. It's You're just very mean to him. Yeah, I know. So we got a male maniacal is in his Fantoon fight. Gonna be a little funny if this is a pendant, but might be, if this is a pendant and maniacal finds something here, then it's gonna be really big. I only got one. Looks like he's only getting one missile off on these. It's a bit odd. I mean, again, I wonder, you know, how much of that is just, again, these guys have been playing uh, yeah, a I ton mean, of games, right? And, you know, when you when you get to some of these uh, some of these fights, and again, I'm, I'm far, far, far from an expert in this game. You killed once. I have killed Fantoon. <laughs> I have killed Fantoon. But, you know, knowing what the, you know, how much... You know, rhythm goes into doing these Dopplers, yeah. you know, how much sort of physical dexterity is in there. I mean, you know, at the end of a long week like this, it it, it yeah, might I, be I a little bit more difficult, you know, to, to just nail it on cue. That is true. How I will say, if that, if that means I'm going to be nice to these guys because of that, that is... I, if I thought you were going to be mistaken. nice, if I thought you were going to be nice, I would be concerned. Yeah. For your well-being. Yeah. does finish Fantoon off here. Silver arrows for Andy. Uh, I don't think anything. So we have space jump. We have that space jump. We had uh, silver arrows. Nothing of like progression value really down here in Brinstar. I mean, like, I it mean, is space a jump could be logic required or even like hard required in in some some way. Right now, it's only access into. No, it's not wrong. We have speed. Um, I mean, it's, every, it's a bunch of stuff that's really nice to have, but there's nothing that's required. So because Maniacal did 
some of Brinstar already. And again, he's in the finals. Um, it's just like when you're in the finals, I guess, especially against someone like Andy, you just kind of have this mentality like I'm just going to send it and like whatever happens, happens. Because it's like I'm playing a strong opponent. Like I, you kind of have to be aggressive. So because Maniacal already did some of Brinstar, got nothing out of it. He probably feels already a little behind. So mm -hmm. he might be going for the full Brinstar skip. And we'll see if that's actually doable here. The Master Sword, again, we're finding a lot of stuff that's like, you're not going to like kick out of bed, but like, it's just not required. I mean, we do need another sword, so like, but it's it's not immediate progression whatsoever. No, but I mean, it, it you know, again, it is setting us up for, um, you know, depending on when Andy goes to wreck ship, you know, and where the other swords are. I mean, it is setting us up for a substantially more convenient dark world sure. if we end up there in the near future. And, you know, I think... Um, uh, you know, with Fantoon being a crystal, we had to come down here right, anyway. Right, yeah, it was. So, you know, we, uh, at the very least, we are we are making progress here. You know, this is far from... Yeah. Um, Andy, Andy skipping missiles did not learn anything from my, from my life experience. And how many missiles short were you? Ten? I was two packs or one super short, yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. So, the, well, the one thing about you did say, uh, you know, Fantoon is required. The thing of a Fantoon, it's kind of like a reverse dungeon where, like, the boss is in front. Yep. Um, so, like, this, like, a, mo all of this stuff is, like, skippable. Um, so, but, you know, I've definitely seen players who, who come down here and just, like, try to skip the top. You can skip the top. You can skip this wreck ship E-Tank. Uh, this one's pretty slow to get. And then uh, you can also just skip Bowling Alley, uh, which would be uh, two or th or Yeah, you can, if you got the top one, it's only two that you're skipping. Um but you're saving that whole cutscene. So there are opportunities to get aggressive here. So just because Maniacal finished, finds something back here and Andy has to kill Fantoon doesn't necessarily mean Andy will come all the way back here. Oh, no, for sure. But I think, you know... Okay, well, there's the mirror. So yeah. that makes the Brinstar loop uh, pretty much required. Uh, I guess technically we don't know if Swamp is uh, a crystal yet, but it seems... Well, I mean, we haven't seen any of our pendants yet, so... But... It's pretty unlikely for Mirror to be sitting there and just not need it at all. That would be kind of weird. Um, but there's all, as I said, the full burn loop is required. It's possible since Maniacal did that left stuff. Maybe he'll try to do uh, Blue Burn down into like Red Tower or something and skip the rest of uh, rest of it. Did Andy? Andy didn't do the uh, Criteria Super, did he? Oh, he just went right by, right by. Oh, is he? Oh, he's low on bomb. Okay, that's why. Yeah, he doesn't. You need at least three to get in there, so that's unfortunate. He, d he is going to orphan that, mm. uh, so that that's a huge thing that Maniacal, if Maniacal does come through here, may be able to pick up. So yeah, I, I just said you know early on, I said Andy had a lead. They had, they're now diverging early. Um, now that they've split, like it's kind of I mean, hard. Like I know like knows, Andy had a yeah. lead early, so I kind of assuming he's still like quote unquote in the lead, but. Uh, it's just really going to depend on, on what we find here. I mean, it's all theoretical, right? If there's something in the location that he right, just skipped, yeah, yeah, yeah. then he's very much not, right? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. if there's uh, nothing there, then he probably still is. You know, I think Andy's got some interesting choices coming up, too, next time he's in Link to the Past, depending on what we find, right? We're a fire source away from Hera. He would love not to go up there until he has a hammer or a hook shot or right, something that exactly, gives him access to more of the mountain. But at the same time, you know, maybe that's the play you make and see if you can spike something, you right. know. And it, Hera's not even guaranteed to be completable right now. Um, we don't have a hook shot. We don't have a fire source. Yeah. That's so. what I'm saying. If, you, if we, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, if like we find a fire source, you know, here in the near future, you know, it, it, you start having to ask the question. Yeah. So. We still have, you know, so Red Tower, we still have Kraid. We have some... Uh, the, you know the high jump area in Upper North Air to do so. There's there's still oh Ooh. that is that is real bad. Yeah, I don't think he took a safety save and oh he did he did okay. Now I believe this was this was probably before. Yeah, this is okay based on his little map up in that corner. This is right before he. This is common because uh, Spiky Room of Death uh, is named appropriately. Yep. Um, difficult, really. You just make one mistake and there you're gonna die. So he really didn't lose that much time. Um, he also had a little issue in Attic, so he's got a chance to uh, kind of clean it up here a little bit. Uh, also, because he's able to skip the worker robot uh, because there was nothing over there. Mm -hmm. That really takes a lot of time. So he, all, yeah, with that save, honestly. I mean, he did lose the bottle. If for some reason that's the only bottle and that's required, that's bad. Um, but besides that, he really didn't lose too much because he was just in one room, one room after this. So, 
Uh, certainly not something you want to do in the finals, but uh, the, for a second I thought that was devastating, and it's it's only like yep. thirty second time lost. Yep. And Andy, okay, Andy is coming here. Does get that ice rod, so yep. this is one of the potential uh, big things. Uh, Maniacal going for this scout. I just don't bother scouting this when I have speed. I just blind blind collect it. Oh, and it's Varia. Well. So that opens a lot of stuff. Yeah, I was th starting to think like we are getting pretty low on checks here, and we haven't really. You know, gotten any further to like really the only thing that's going to open up a significant amount of checks at this point in a link to the past um, is our dark. Oh, well, and mitts. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, so never mind. So we're only. Yeah, this is interesting now. So, so now with those mitts, I'm actually less inclined, even less inclined to do any of the mountain than I was before, just because. Oh yeah. I'm a hook shot away. Well, hook, hook shot or hammer and moon pearl away we, from. You know. Well, I'm saying hook shot because of hook shot cave to well, do all sure, of that mountain. Well, sure. Sure. Yeah, hook shot away from just being able to do Death Mountain all at once. Uh, yeah, but I mean, if, if I if I got a hammer and I had all of you know Paradox and sure. and all of that, I mean, I, the temptation is definitely still there. Yeah. It's it's less ideal, but it's still a yeah. lot of density. And like, it's I think it's pretty rare in a link to the past randomizer to go to to Paradox and there being nothing there, just like so much stuff over there. Here, I know it's diluted a little bit more. It's it's uh, it happens a lot when you go to like it's like oh I just opened a Paradox. This has to be it. It's just like there's nothing there. Like yeah. Nothing at all. Yeah, I do notice a trend, right? Which is that um, you know, the more of these that I watch, I, mean, I, th I think there's this this tendency, because you know, s relatively speaking, so few items open up so much of SM. Right. Like right. the Very suit just opened up so much for us. Right. Um, so it, it seems like you know there is this tendency, especially as you start acquiring more beams. You know, Andy's fairly well equipped in that regard. You right. know. Um, it seems like there's a tendency. You kind of get in SM and barring a hard block. Uh, this is actually really bad for Andy. He might yeah. die here. Okay, he's trying to get in the rhythm here. He doesn't have charge to pseudo screw. He can only take two more hits. I think this enrage. Okay, rage is over. I should be able to finish off this fight. He's also in risk of getting into sort of. You can kind of get into no man's. So health bombs start at um, below 39. Mm -hmm. um, and but the problem is. Like, so you can be at certain, yeah, like certain helps where uh, Fantoon is not guaranteed to drop you health, but you're with, you're still within uh, one hit KO territory. So this is getting, okay, he's just, yeah, forcing him off screen. This is an exciting Fantoon fight. I've never, I haven't been this on my seat for Fantoon in quite some time. It's a little bit spicy. Okay, getting some health now. Ooh, back down to, one. all right. Alright, Andy is getting through it. Andy is sighing about his yeah, th 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 this is this is one of those things that cannot feel good right now. No, 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 no. This is yeah, pretty scary. Very nicely done. Getting through it. Yeah, it's one of those like Fantoon is like uh neither neither of these guys are new route runners, so like new route runners will just put in like hundreds of hours of practice onto Fantoon. Um, and it becomes pretty, like, once you've done that much, becomes, like, you know, even doing, like, a 70 health Fantoon mm -hmm. really isn't that, like, scary. But, uh, you know, like, both of these guys are, like, you know, pretty good at the Dopplers and everything. But, like, all the different flame paths, there's, like, so many things to do when you're in a, like, low health situation like that for a non, like, new route runner is, uh, can be pretty, pretty terrifying. I know, for instance, Maniacal, um, when we play, like, Triple Bingo, doing early Fantoon is pretty standard. Uh, he will always pick up the reserve tank mm. uh, just to give himself a little extra buffer. Yeah, Super Metroid, in my experience, also controls, like, a, I don't know, like a vintage flight simulator. Um, it controls like that until you're good at it, and then it controls, like, beautifully. It's it, there, is, there is a steep learning curve. But, like, once you start, like, getting into the flow of it, it's... It's kind of a really like, beautiful game to like play and, and watch. I believe you, and yet I yeah, don't. I know um, it's so funny. Like people always say, like oh, same as controls like a you know ten thousand you know pound like mech, and it's like it's true until like I mean watch like Zost or Cutie or Zenny or any of them play. Like it's just I understand what you're saying, but I feel like Cutie also has permanent hand damage he because does of the have, way he holds the controller. He so he did, I'm not he, sure that you can use Cutie as an example of how beautifully the game controls. He literally, when he, he literally, when he has now a claw attached to his right arm as he, a result of this game. He literally DM'd me right before this trip and asked me about my hand, my hand pain because he's like, my, my hand's been all screwed up. I'm like, yeah, well, that's yeah, <laughs> that'll happen. When you're triggering one of the buttons with your index finger and your pinky yeah. crossed away, it's you know that's that's what'll happen. So, 
shocking. I know. I would try to imitate it, but I'm pretty sure there's a no gang signs rule on yeah. uh, for for speed gaming. I so I did a my when I did a casual playthrough of this so like a year or so ago. Um, I unknowingly decided that the control scheme that made sense to me was apparently the one that Cutie uses. Oh God! And uh, I had I had the claw and I injured myself gravely, <laughs> um, but I refused to stop um, because it annoyed him. So yes, that is that is true. It was worth it. The pain was <laughs> worth it. I, I the pain to me was worth it. Is that what you're yes, saying? Yes, I have no the regrets. Psychic, the psychic it was, damage. It was worth my physical. Yeah, pain except your hand is doing this constantly now because of your your Cutie grip. It's true. <laughs> you got permanent Italian I got the, hand. I got the cutie claw. <laughs> it's a real thing. Yeah, uh, this is the spiky room death I was talking about before. Uh, the problem is just, uh, you can kago through those things, which just means you drop through them. Mm -hmm. uh, it has to do with like, turnaround animations super easily, easily when you don't have a suit, and those things do 200 damage. Uh, without a suit, so it's it's really really easy just to completely eat it there. Yeah, I feel like you know Super Metroid in general. Um, I think the past a lot of the hardest rooms, with a couple of exceptions, are actually they're hard to do fast, but they're not actually that dangerous if you take your time. Yes, that's right? true. And I think in SM by comparison, there's some rooms in SM that are just. They're just, just hard. Yeah, they're just straight up and, difficult. And, yeah, and that's it, definitely it, true. It doesn't really matter, you know, whether you're trying to go fast or not. They're just dangerous as heck. Yeah, that is that is definitely true, especially like in Rando. Um, like honestly, like you know, Brinstar is the first area you go. You're supposed to go to just in like a, a playthrough of, of SM. Um, so, but like, the game expects you to make two loops through it because like all there's like all those big side hoppers and everything. You're supposed to come back with power bombs later. Uh, so when you do it really early in the Rando, because you obviously just get power bombs somewhere, mm. like. Mo like a lot of the rooms are designed for you for like when you have nothing, and then all of a sudden you're in a room that was designed for you when you have like Varia suit, power bombs, grapple beam, wave beam, ice beam. You're it looks supposed to be a lot more kitted out. So well, that early Brinstar loop is actually and really they're terrifying. They're adjacent, right? Yeah. You know, I think in a link to the past, you're you're in a situation where the hard parts of the game are in a completely separate section of the yeah, world yeah. from the you yeah, know, whole from, from the easy parts. Um, and in SM, that's just not the case, right? It's and, and because we're concerned about clearing efficiently, right, right, and getting through, you know, it, it's uh, it's very easy to run through those spaces that are a little bit uncomfortable, <laughs> like the back of a ball. No, <laughs> we're not doing that. Anyway, and he's getting his mitts. So this is our first look at Crate. I don't, I like I said, this is just tends to be a blind kill. Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't have any confirmation whatsoever on the pendant boss status. Yeah, so this is the second blind boss kill we've had in, in SM so far for these runners, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, my uncle did. I think. Actually, I don't think Andy ever. I think he just blind killed Fantoon. I as just well. think he ran in. I don't think he checked. Um, yeah. Uh, definitely a little weird. Yeah. Also, it was a Volkswagen, not a Volvo. Oh, was it? <laughs> I'm glad you know exactly what I was talking yeah. about. <laughs> Okay, Fantoon boss, so it is required. But again, this is the one that doesn't, like, this is pretty meta. The, the Fantoon thing is definitely a little oddball. Yep, so one of the things that I, is interesting, again, as a sort of watcher of, right. you know, the Super Metroid stuff more than a more than a player. And a listener to of complaining. And a listener to of shouting and angry hammerings on tables and yeah. these sorts of things. Um, I think it, one, one of the things that's really interesting to me is, and you were mentioning this uh, the other night, is that there's a difference in the way that the different Super Metroid randomizers handle... Um, opening up the areas that would typically be associated with a boss kill, right? So, yeah. so in SMZ3, even though we have randomized the boss yeah, completion the, the reward, the area unlocks, right? So wreck ship turning on yeah, it's, is still it's attached to the, Fantoon. The, the tokens so. don't actually do yeah. anything besides opening up G4, um, as opposed to in some, some other randomizers. Um, Total did say like he thought about it, but especially like things like Ridley, like... Mm -hmm. Going down to Ridley and just isolating that would just be like awful. It feels really painful. Yeah. So both runners now having that various suit. And so speaking of Ridley, um, you know, that Norfair area. Um uh, I don't know exactly what else we need to get down there, but um, um but we can survive it. We now, can do so. Yeah, to get to lower Norfair, unless you want to do high jump lists, which I'm pretty sure both of them maniacal definitely does 
pretty sure Andy learned it for the co-op. I don't know if he's practiced it recently. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty it's pretty difficult to do. Uh, we either need so we either need um, well logically we need gravity and well we need gravity. We already have have space jump. Mm -hmm. uh, if they have high jump, they'll definitely do it. That 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 lava dive is is definitely in both of these guys' wheelhouse. It's very the fact that it's required and hard. Um, so definitely something we can both do. Or we can give a flute and it'll just move with the flute to Misery Mire and get an LN that way. So yeah, here I'd so like in, in, in if I was playing the seed, I would be looking to go to Lower Norfair. Um well I'd be looking to go to Norfair because that looks like where the seed is telling me to go. But since I'm already there, like I, I wanna do Lower Norfair while I'm there. So I would be looking probably to be heading towards Lower Norfair and preparing for a high jump list here. Mm -hmm. So, but depending on, like, the, the problem is our kit for lower Norfair is not that great. Um, I guess we have plasma. Yeah, we have plasma, so we should be fine. Plasma is in space. Um, should make lower Norfair just fine. We have 30 supers for readily, so, yeah. Doing a high jump list into uh, lower Norfair after an upper Norfair equator definitely makes a lot of sense here. There is some small efficiency to doing upper Norfair after lower Norfair. Um, that's like the way it's done in Hundo, but it's just, it's a very, very small efficiency. And like, when you're this low on equipment, generally you'll clear upper first, just like hope to get something, especially like a screw right. attack or, you know, high jump boots, anything like that. Or even gravity would, would help uh, in lower Norfair. Um, or charge beam, you know, anything like that. So we'll, we'll see where we're going. I, I really suspect, yeah, we're already starting to see some, oh, it's just five rupees. Oh, this is the, yeah. When I was doing the actual hundo strats here, uh, going down to to Krokemeyer, I would say a little bit. Krokemeyer is one thing that players tend to want to skip. We we kind of call it the uh, pendant dungeon mm -hmm. of um, of Super Metroid. So it's it's weird that Maniacal is. Com oh, was there something on? Uh, there was something on the Croc escape, or did did he not scout it? Oh, gravity is here. Okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. That makes... I was like, why is he going this way? <laughs> it was so... That feels worth. Yeah, so now th now Lower Norfair is just straight up in logic with that gravity suit and space yep. jump. Um, you m the only other thing I would consider... So, I think here I would bail because the issue is... Well, A, we don't know what Mire is. Uh, you really don't want to do two lava dives to Misery Mire mm -hmm. if you can avoid it. Uh, we just got something huge, gravity, right? That opened up a whole other section of the game. So in this situation, I would have gone around, got that gravity, and gone straight to Meridia. Because we have speed, I can get all the way through there. Uh, I have mitts. Sometimes I want to put off Meridia with Dark World access. But since I have mitts, Moon Pearl gives me dark, normal Dark World access, so I'm not worried about that in this situation, right? Yep. And, uh, like, hopefully, I'm like, like, even if I just had, uh, I guess Maniacal doesn't have that mirror. Uh, just even having mirror, uh, you can do the Mire Shed, uh, Mirror glitch, right? To, to pick up two items out of out of logic there without yep. the moon pearl. Plus, then headed to desert, get a couple chucks, yeah. see what's so going on there. And yeah, here I definitely wouldn't. I mean, Monaco might still decide to do upper Norfair, but yeah, I would have just taken that gravity. I wouldn't have done proc or anything, and I've just I've just seen that gravity just gone around and then just gone straight to Meridia. So I think a little interesting doing proc here. We'll see what Andy did. Andy's going to see the same thing. Uh, we'll see what he decides. It is also, I've, I've mentioned this several times, it can be hard when you're like, so if I'm coming down here, right, I'm playing like, okay, I'm going to do upper Norfair, and then I'm going to do do like a high jump list to mm -hmm. uh, lower Norfair, and that's my plan. I find gravity, which just makes that even easier. It might It's kind of hard to then like mentally switch to like, oh, I found something big, and I'm going to completely change my plan all of a sudden. So, uh, we'll yeah, we'll see what Maniacal ends up doing here. Yeah, that's always a really interesting thing. I think there's that, like, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It's like that, you know, sort of mental inertia thing where, yeah, that's you know, you, you, you get, um, you're always, like, taking the idle moments, right, to plan your next five moves, right? right. So, you know, you know, that way you're not having to think in the moment. You, you know, you've got somewhere you're going to go. But the flip side of that is that occasionally you get something that might should change your plan, but you've been thinking about that yeah. plan for so long that you just muscle memory the next and step I was in it. With these guys being real, like, that's something that I think Andy is really good at is like I'll see him like just like auto switch stuff without even like you know like none of this men men mental inertia stuff. Yeah, he's a very adaptive. This is some sort of weird guy, I think. Okay, I, I thought he was. I thought Maniacal was setting up for some corrupt shine spark I've never seen. Uh, he just stored a shine. Uh, you know, sometimes you just push down. Oh, I thought he was going to do a sweet D-boost off that Ripper to get the Indiana Jones. That would have been awesome. I think he also forgot he had Space Jump. <laughs> he was trying sparking up there because it's 
the bon uh, people forget how slow. Like if you think bonking in a link to the past is better than 70 frames, the shine mm. spark it's like over. It's like a second and a half. It's huge. Well, you get stuck at the end of it too. Yeah, I mean, is that, that the that second and a half? That, yeah, is it that's that long? The, that's the bong. Yeah, it's wow. pretty long. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize it was anywhere. Yeah, that's why that there's long. a lot of like thing like uh, you see. You'll see a lot of new players do like some like weird shine sparks that aren't that long, and it's. It's the same thing like that, right? You, it's like four tiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. same thing of shine sparks. You have to go a certain minimum distance for this, the the spark to save you time, and especially like when you're shine spark, you have to stop and sh and charge it and then start going. When you're at full speed blue suit, you're moving at the same speed, so a lot of times it's just faster just to like jump through stuff. Right. It's very interesting. So we'll see when Maniacal is going. The funny thing is he went and grabbed that, that gravity suit. If he was planning on doing croc, there was no reason to rush it. He could have just gone on the way out later. So I was going to wait until the... Doesn't Maniacal have... Oh, no, he doesn't have plasma. I was like... No. <laughs> just shoot these guys. Yeah. I was going to wait until roughly the hour mark, but I think we got a little momentary lull here. So I was going to tell the story of why I Go asked on. Duck about his fly. Because I figured, I, I, I so hope like Moonfall is right I here. I figured story. that that would be entertaining for everybody. So, <laughs> the uh, it was the first or second night here of SGL, and we were in a uh, we were in known gamer Solsky's room, and uh, uh, we learned that Apathy Duck 07 does not know how to operate pants, <laughs> and so um, I think it was like something like eight times that your fly like, had like fallen five. down. Let's not let's not hyperbolize over, here. over the span of about 25 minutes. So it was it was pretty uh, Excuse me, I have to interrupt you to point out that we just got the shovel, big a very big game changing shovel here in uh, yeah. Lower Norfolk that's going to stop this horrifying story from proceeding. Maybe we will check the shovel spot and dig up the book of Mudora which could teach you how to operate pants. Is that what's in there? It could at How least does that help you read tablets? It's uh, is, is that, or is that that's what's on the tablet, is how to put on pants. Have you never seen an encyclopedia? They cover lots of things. It's not an encyclopedia. It it's could like be an Rosetta encyclopedia. Stone. You it's don't just, know what it is. It's a dictionary. That's how you can read a tablet with okay, it. Okay, well, if I you look You just think up, it's a cooking recipe, and I all of a sudden up, Link knows how to read Hy 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 Hylian or whatever it is? If I look up zipper in the dictionary, I bet <laughs> from the picture of my face a thing that you pull up from bottom to top, yeah. and then it holds your pants closed because practicing. you pulled it all the way up. Yeah, I bet Like I bet you could figure it out from the dictionary, too. So I think either way, like the book could help. Okay. Yep. You done? No. No. <laughs> I'm done for now. Yeah, all right. So Maniacal is, we're getting the full clear here of Upper Norfolk. We'll see if he continues down in Lower Norfolk. Like I said, like before that gravity popped, I, th I thought the Lower Norfolk made sense, but gravity just changes everything. Uh, at this point, I'm now like thinking about this this double dive mm -hmm. of uh, like if I had flute, you know that doesn't it doesn't matter at that point. Like when you have flute to miss, it's just well you don't even do the lava dive. You just flute there. Yeah. At that point. Um, so powder is a little bit a little bit more interesting now on top of that shovel. Um, you know, if we can find ourselves a hammer, um, you know, there's now a nice route to sort of, you know, loop in a few of these fetch quests. We have the mitts, so we can do it at the same time as Smith's. We've, so so we get Moon at some well, point. Well, yeah, like, I mean, we're going to need that. But problem is but we got a bunch of fetch quests now that, well, I mean, the right now the powder is not. Um, okay, so Michael's, if he's going up here, he's not going to Lower Norfair. I don't, and he also didn't, yeah, because he came down to Croc. He hasn't checked Cathedral either. So, yeah. yeah, I think Upper Norfair is also, like, you know, people think, like, oh, Norfair is a boss, so, like, you know, it's efficient to do it. Like, Upper Norfair really doesn't have a boss or anything in it. Uh, it is something that is, like, can be skippable. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't, like, with that gravity, like, I, I don't think there was necessarily a reason to do Norfair there. Uh, I'm just playing a little safe, I think. Uh, I didn't quite I didn't see, see what, what that, that was. was. I think it's boots. Oh. Oh baby, I think it's boots. I think that it's, yeah, is boots. Okay, yeah. it's linked to the Pat's boots. Not the uh, not, not the, the high jump. Not, okay. not yeah. the high jump boots. No. So boots, you know, always always welcome to have them. I think Maniacal has gold. Yeah, he's got gold sword now too. So um, he's pretty much kitted to the teeth uh, in the link to the past side. Boots not doesn't open up too much. I mean, you could just have um, Moon Pearl sitting in in. Uh, 
uh, Bomb Crocs or, God forbid, uh, Lumberjack. Well, we also have King's Tomb with the mitts. Um, That's right. Yeah, we don't. I was thinking of, we'd have so. to check with Mirror, but we just have mitts. Okay, so now Annie, I'm really interested to see what Annie here, because I think the proper thing to do is just bail. So Annie will be able to catch, uh, make up a lot of time on Maniaco. It looks like, yeah, he's going to just be bailing. So I think Annie is going to be doing the thing that I, I suggested. It's just take this and go straight back up to, to Meridia. Oh, this is the. Oh, I didn't even realize. Man okay, Maniacal has his fire rod. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even completely miss this. Yeah, we're definitely in a position where a moon pearl is suddenly going to um, give I, us quite a lot to do. And yeah, I, I, I said, you know, asked me early on, I said that you had the seeds where, um, you know, it's a very late morph and all of a sudden it's just the Pick'em and Super Metroid. It's rarer, but it does happen. M my race uh, against the Zazas in the. Was like this too, where I was like, I got to. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so that's lamp locked, which we don't have, right? Yeah, we don't have. I haven't seen the lamp. Uh, it's on the track just because like, we have so many things. We had to make a couple sacrifices. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, we don't have the lamp. So that is logically behind the lamp. And the end's gonna get it two seconds later. Interesting that like he got that gravity, and then bailed, but didn't do Meridia, and he's coming here, which is gonna work out for him. He's gonna get Moon Pearl. Um, it's definitely a true, so, like, we kind of said, like, Super Metroid, you sort of just go to area and full clear it. Uh, I do find the dungeons to be more valuable than mm. the Metroid checks. Like, we've all had, just because, like, you, like, because you do an area and you just full clear it, right, there's the opportunity cost of, like, you're just stuck there doing the whole thing, and if it's empty, that's a huge amount of time, whereas you would just, like, you know, the overworld checks and the length of the past, like, on the way of the dungeon is a lot quicker. Yeah. Right? And then you can just, like, couple it with a dungeon, which you have to do no matter what. So, yeah, definitely the length of the past dungeons are the most valuable thing. So, I, like, having that Moon Pearl uh, would make me go uh, to, to a length of the past, not come back to Meridia or anything. Well, I think you do also, st I mean, you know, you still do have the sort of sphere notion of thinking, right? Which is, you know, because um, there are some people who... who play very aggressively against that at least on the wings of the past side i don't know how common it is in sm but um you know given how by comparison right mm -hmm. especially in hard mode but even here right you know sm is a little bit flatter yeah right from true. a from a logical standpoint and so if you are a player who thinks you know about wanting to try and traverse into higher tiers and pursue you right. know those logical chains you're going to get deeper into those chains in the length of the past you know more quickly yeah um with the dungeons because there's so many more things that gate you know, access to them, so. Yeah, I, it's, we don't talk as about spheres nearly as much. Uh, again, just because it's so diluted, like, it, I, is, I don't actually This know. is a beautiful map, by the way. I really enjoy all three pendants lined up against the left-hand oh, side of the yeah, screen nice. in the dark, in the dark world. That makes it easy to figure out. So, okay, so this also makes the, uh, so what I was saying before about this whole, like, putting off Meyer and everything, if they had this information earlier, and I do like checking, with this new uh, boss shuffle, I do like checking the dark world on Death Mountain very mm -hmm. early. Uh, because what I can do is I can take the Light World map, the Dark World map, the three bosses I can check very easily. I just solve for Fantoon. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have, like, because he's replaying so much game, again, like, I was saying, like, I was talking about, like, doing a bunch of route changes and thinking about, like, Misery Mire because it might be required later. Just having that information would have completely, all that stuff I was saying about not doing Meridia. I now, if I'd known that before, I think Lower Norfair here is still, like, go, going back on it, Lower Norfair now makes sense. Of course, they didn't know that. But, like, it's, it's, to me, it's weird to do the, this map check this late. Yeah, we do have another interesting divergence going on here as well, which is uh, Maniacal, you know, heading immediately straight into the Dark World. Andy opting to stay on the mountain, um, do Hera, see what he can pull out of here. Um, yeah, I, I think, I prefer, again, because I was saying, like, at, at this point with those mitts and everything, I just kind of want to wait to do um, any of Death Mountain until I can pretty much do all of it sans TR. If I can wait to it with TR, that's even better. I think the flip side, though, is that by clearing Tower of Hera now, right, like one of the conundrums that you always run into, um, depending on when you're going and, and how fast you're trying to go, right, if you have to make that the, the choice between Hera and Spiral Cave, you are always going to leave Spiral Cave behind, right? Sure. And so for a relatively minimal investment of additional time here, Andy is basically saying, I don't have to make that choice now. Yeah, I mean, that, that is true. I, I think... And I like, I think Hera is perfectly fine. Um, and I get like, I would say in SMZ3, it's a, that's a, cause like, you're not really just trying to like save like 10 seconds here, 20 seconds here, and that's how I'm going to win, right? Like, 
we tend to play a little bit more conservatively just because missing something, you just will never come back to it. It'll yeah. be like an hour, yeah. right? So having to do like, you know, oh, it's going to lose me 10 seconds from all this like short, you know, like weird routing is, is less of concern for us, I would say, in, in general. Yeah, so I believe... This might yeah. be Meridia. Yep, we've got the yeah, water this... walk set up, and we're going to go over there. Um, there wasn't anything on Floating Island. Oh, he's just... Oh, you know, I never thought about doing that. That's actually pretty smart. So this is actually pretty dangerous to do. Um, I do have a setup that guarantees you getting there without getting hit. Uh, so if you fake flipper there and you get hit, you just... you Well, in the vanilla ROM, you would it would softlock the yeah, game. Yeah, you'd just be done. And there's a, there's a random patch that just kills you instead. Um, but still, it's one shot and you're, and you're dead. So it is pretty dangerous. The water walk's pretty nice safety. Uh, like I said, I, there is a way to... If you just, like, swim down down angle and pump once and then like go straight and then go up into the ladder it's um you have to approach the portal from the left side you go in and as, to my knowledge it's 100 percent since i kind of found that setup i've never been hit yeah. unless i've unless i've messed it up and like even that's pretty rare because it's pretty easy yeah i do think it's interesting with because we had all those pendants lined up over on mm -hmm. the west hand side of the world right you know i think when you have a fire rod, right? When you've got a green pendant thieves, um, you know, ordinarily you're almost trying to find a reason to go, you know, to go into skull, right. to go into thieves. In this case, though, you know, with having gravity, you know, that uh, I, I don't even think we really dipped into skull woods to any appreciable degree. I think we yeah. just set up the water walk. It was such and, a weird ran, so because we had the fire rod, right? We're looking for the moon pro. You go like. Because uh, Thieves Town is a dungeon that's like accessible as soon as you have like normal Dark World access, right? So yep. before we had the map, right, we were going like, oh, cool, I got Dark World. It means I can do Thieves Town. I got the Fire Rod so I can do Skull Woods. I can knock out some dungeons here. And you get there and you realize like, oh, I can't actually do any dungeon that's a crystal or a boss, right? Yep, yep. Uh, because, of, because of that layout. So it's uh, that Moon Pro went from like, oh, that's big value. I've got all this, you know, I can start doing some dungeons. I can start clearing this stuff off. All of a sudden it's like, oh, wait, no, I can't. It's... You know, maybe like I do like Hype Cave or something. I feel like the flip side, though, is that with having those boots, right, um, you know, I'm surprised we didn't get at least a little bit of Village of Outcasts, if not the Front of Thieves, um, you know, before setting up the Water Walk and, and going. Yeah, I, I think, again, I think just, like, because of the pendant layout, like, you know, I think Maniacal just kind of had, like, make a quick decision there. Um, no, I mean, I, I, I totally get that. I mean, you know, for me, I, I, and again, I don't know the SMZ3 meta, you know, quite as much. For me, it feels a little bit like over-indexing, right? Like, if I was, if I was uh, playing a link... Over-indexing. Yeah, over-indexing <laughs> on the pendant situation. If I, if I had, um, you know, it's your money market fund, whatever. If you, uh, if I had Are a... you going to start talking about crypto? No, God, no. <laughs> No, it's no, like no, some no. sort of like scam that you're setting up here. I'm, really I'm about confused. to I'm about to buy Twitter, and ruin everything. That's my plan. But uh, if I um, uh, no no no. But if I you know if I've got the boots right uh -huh. and I've got a green pendant, right. Thieves Town, and Village of Outcasts, and it's still quick for me to bump up and set up the water walk, right right afterward. That's a fair number of checks. Um, it, that I can get done in fairly short order. I guess with Maniacal not having the mirror, it might feel a little bit worse to go into Thieves Town because you can't get out as quick. You have to yeah, take the death um, there is that. It's just like Meridia's. It's kind of weird because I was predicting like one, like the person I thought was going to go to Meridia went to Lower Norfair, and the person I thought I was going to go to Lower Norfair went to Meridia. So it's it's weird yeah. that they've some sort of like switched from what I thought was sensible. But uh, you know they're in the finals and I'm not, so you know. It's true. Maybe, maybe I can learn something. Ten missiles. And I can't imagine any not going to Lorne Orfer at this point. Because he also knows it's... He did a map check, right? Yeah, he did. So he, he knows... Uh, he knows about the, the Meyer situation, so I think that's why he's greenlighting this. I'm really enjoying the fact, by the way, that we've got these little trophies here. And Duck is so sad that he doesn't have one, and I so they and they just sit right in front of him the whole time. Yeah, it's and he just has to stare at will it. You put them less in. No, back back over there. Just. Oh, what does it look like? Oh, you can't see them. Yeah, well, it's a, uh, it's the uh, the SMZ three. The Trozo holding the tri. Am I even holding it? Yeah, the you Trozo are, handling are the, the triforce, yep. and one's bigger than the other one. We've, we've been having this entire... I thought they were in frame. Um, we'd have to put them, like, way back. Yeah, I yeah, don't think it's... Hold, it's not going to hold them. I'm not going to Vanna White the trophies <laughs> the whole time. That's not... Well, Vanna White turns things around. I'm sitting. 
I'm not gonna. I can't like. You can't turn things because you're I, sitting. Okay, I can. I can turn things. Yeah, see, but there I can't, you go. Like you know, do the whole thing. I need special equipment for this. <laughs> special equipment. You sure do. I can't work under these conditions. So maniacal checking uh, plasma there. Uh, to his knowledge, not actually on logic. He could have done it with speed, uh, if that was something. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, not not in logic. It, it is a lot. It is quote unquote in logic because Andy Andy found plasma. Where was plasma? Trying to remember, wasn't it in Gaunt? No, it was. Oh, Brinstar. That's right, because Maniacal still hasn't done Brinstar. Yeah, it looks like Maniacal is kind of leaning to the Brinstar skip a little bit. Um, if I was him, I would think like maybe I want to try to clean up Blue. Uh, although he did go down. No, he didn't. That's right. He didn't go down there at all. So I mean, out of everything we found in Brinstar, I mean, really the thing that we'd be concerned about is the mirror. E yeah. Right. I mean, as a as some and, yeah, and the mirrors the mirror is now officially hard required. So yeah, that is. And unfortunately, remember Michael where he was trying to set that short shot. That's where the mirror was. Oh yeah. So Swamp Palace is a super metroid. Yeah. Boss. So, so yeah, if he did hit that, if he did hit that short charge, he would have been able to abandon the rest of Brinstar without any any sort of issues. That is true. Yeah. So um, he's if, when he does get down there, uh, I was hoping he does. Well, we just. That's all the pen of medallion just fall, fall into a lap all of a sudden. Yep. That was real quick. Uh, I mean, only each runner only has one of each. Uh, and we yeah we haven't seen Turtle Rock or uh, Meyer yet. And so we'll see Meyer. So I mean, Meyer is a pendant, so it matters a little bit less. Uh, unlike you know, especially Meyer only being two items. Probably not gonna have anything. This is a nice little strat with with the 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 grapple beam. If you have a high jump, you can just kind of jump up and just shoot down farm these you do want to keep your missiles below 30 uh if they're below 30 it forces the chozo into just orbing at you instead of doing his little wave beam attack mm. so when you're farming you probably see here andy dump oh he's just gonna fire now okay now he does need to the so one of the problems with uh doing uh gt like this is you need it's not 30 it's like 25 or something i don't know do you know the exact number the supers for chozo no idea. All right, it's it's not it's not quite thirty, but it's it's somewhere it's like twenty five or twenty six or something, and then you need another thirty for for Ridley. So uh, Andy did a pretty good job farming there. He's already at twenty. Uh, he'll probably just he probably won't really spend any time farming the Rippers uh, when he gets. I assume he's going to be getting back shortly. Uh, probably going to be doing. Oh yeah, we're at least going to be doing Desmond and stuff. Okay, so Ether. That's the one. That was the one in Aqueduct, I believe. And Bombos was. Uh, was Bombos Crumble Tower, I think? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. So we did get, uh, we're getting some resets here on Maniacal's side as he checks those sand pits. and. Yeah, this is pretty standard. The sand pits out, are, uh, what's going on there. are super annoying. The worst the worst thing possible is there's an item in both sand pits. Well, no, the worst thing possible is there's an item you maybe need in one of the sand pits. Like, a book in a sand pit is just, is death. Like, you hate seeing that. Yep. So there's our flippers. So that's one part of our Swamp Palace puzzle. Um, and uh, Oh, we're sending a hookshot, too. Yeah. Yep. So what do we need? What do we need? We need hookshot. We need red cane. We need hammer somehow. And bow. I believe that's correct. And yeah. yeah, that is it. Yeah. So that's what? Four items? Hookshot, cane... Uh, bow and hammer. Yeah, so four items. There's screw attack. That's that's helpful. Uh, it's gonna make your lower warfare a little bit easier. Uh, less less useful. Uh, screw attack is really good if you are planning on doing the uh, the lower warfare hell runs. Uh, that makes you just like way 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 safer. Uh, but it's always nice to have. Uh, really, the only place I find that Screw Attack really actually helps is Lower Norfair. Anywhere else, it's just like none of the enemies are actually scary enough to, to really ha have to worry about it. But, mm. you know, and sometimes it, get, you know, it can get in the way of like doing damage boosts and everything. Uh, like in any, in any sp speed run, you, you tend to get uh, Screw Attack very late or not at all for, for most of them. The only time you really get it is like Hundo and like some GT Classic ones. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it can screw up your D boost uh, a lot if you, if you get it really early. Yeah, so I think, you know, again, we're seeing right oh, wait, here. We haven't seen Zora, have we? No, we have not. picking up this 300 no, 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 rupees. No, no, no. Zora is still oh, very much a thing. Um, don't have hammer. 
Uh, true. Uh, it could be. And we the, don't have a soul ski. It's it could sad. be the t-shirt. Uh, the t-shirt moment. Um, and uh, uh, but you know the other thing that we're seeing here obviously is that with Andy having that mirror until Maniacal finds his way to it. Um, you know, speaking of checks like Zora, but also just being in these dungeons. You know, Andy able to you know get back out, for example, to the entrance of uh, of desert here and, and make his way to the back very very efficiently. Um, not having the mirror to do that really sucks. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, as we potentially start getting into some of these other Dark World dungeons, if we do, right, you know, pod another big mirror dungeon. Yeah, pod is um, a real big you, one. You know... Uh, Especially Lampless. Yeah, absolutely. And so, um, you know, even beyond just the logical implications, you know, that mirror just starts paying you back a little bit of time every time yeah. you're routing one of these more complicated dungeons. And I believe it's the case that Meridia has... Go, well, never mind. I was about to say it has nothing. There's our hammer. Well, there you go. Yeah, so that's really big. Um, it it still doesn't do. I mean, it gets us it gets us all the the death mountain checks, and that's kind of it. I mean, we could. Well, I mean, again, it's another piece of the swamp palace puzzle. Um, sure, I'm it, just saying immediately it yep. doesn't actually open up all that much. It, it opens up hammer pegs, which is something that would also, have been isolated. It also gets us to East Dark Death Mountain. Yeah, and, that's the big thing. Both of these thing. runners can hover, right? That's so true. going yeah. over there and trying to spike something out of logic and hookshot cave. Yeah, that, that, that is not true. a would, bad idea. With the fact that they can both, I was saying delaying this, delaying that till you can do all of it. With the fact that they can hover, that is all of it. So. Yep. Yep, there's there's really no no concern I think on yeah. either of these runner sides about uh, picking up whatever's over there. They know it's out of logic, you know, but uh, you know they know they're not likely to find hookshot over there. But um, although it could happen. <laughs> well, in the bonk chest, yeah. Yeah, but um, I don't think I've ever yeah. had that. Oh, uh, I have. You have? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a fun one. Feels real bad. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think any is farm. Why is he? Far he was already at thirty. Why is he bothering to farm? And he's gonna get more from like the, the pirate shrine sparks and everything. And he's got forty nine missiles, so this extra farm is seems unnecessary. Decadent, as it were. Maybe just planning on eating a couple extra supers at Ridley. Could be. Maybe he just likes uh, you know, comfort. Yeah, I mean like like doing exactly thirty super Ridley fight is, you know, not not the easiest thing in the world. So, you know, having a couple extras is is, is always nice. And Maniacal also coming down to lower Norfair. So we're going to be seeing a lot of the same stuff. Uh, Maniacal will be getting these flippers, um, most likely. Um, unless he's really worried about his ammo situation and doesn't want to... Oh, yeah, he, he's actually really low. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't kill GT here uh, with, with this ammo count. Uh, but he might still do the Mire area, especially since there's a Crystal Dungeon he can do effectively with uh, Desert Palace. Yeah, while we're on the subject of ammo, you know, I mean, again, I think one thing that's been a really interesting trend to watch, um, right, is, you know, everybody has a different way of reacting to being up against a really great opponent. And obviously, both of these guys are up against a really great opponent. You right. know, they're, they're both at the top of their game. Uh, some people react by feeling like, man, I really got to just go for everything. Right. Right. Um, and, you know, some folks are like, I want to make sure I don't mess up anything. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and I think we've seen both of those strategies uh, throughout the week uh, as the competition has gotten fiercer and fiercer. And so, you know, neither one of them is wrong. You know, it's uh, it's just a question of which side of the equation you want to be on, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, Andy is definitely, from what I've seen, definitely the kind of guy who just, like, he doesn't really counterplay his opponent all that much. He just sort of, you know, does does his thing. Um, Aussie's like that, too, or another one of the, the top runners who, unfortunately, is, is not here at this, this event. Um, so, but yeah, like in a fi like in a final, I tend to want to be a little aggressive. Uh, it seemed I think like maniacal. He, he had a little, you know, some just like maniacal was just in a situation where like all of his plays just weren't working out. Yeah. So I think he's. I wouldn't be surprised if he's really going to be committing to this burn tech uh, skip, which is going to be really unfortunate for him because of that mirror, and it's going to be really aggravating for him because he was going for a trick to, to snag it, and, and just didn't yeah. get it and decided yeah. to. Uh, he just tried to decide to do it once, which is definitely not a bad idea in that situation. It's just because, like, I've spent a lot of time there uh, before just, well, and just again, trying from, to get from, it. From an odd standpoint, right? I mean, it's one of those things where how much time do I want to sink into something that right. has such a legitimately small mathematical chance of working out? 
and it's obviously not, it's it not happened that, to like, be the thing you know here. But when the seed necessary, I mean, when in the seed from like that would enable the Brin skip because that was literally, but like in that situation, something had to have been there. Andy had, would have to do all of Brinstar, and there was nothing else in Brinstar, right? A lot of things had. I mean, and that's what happened. But yep. yeah, yep. like I, I definitely understand not wanting to, to spend a lot. It's just like, what are the odds, right? And it's apparently 100% because it happened. That's how, that's how odds work, right? As I've been told. Yep. Something about PRNG. <laughs> yes, it's all. Yeah, but you can see all was, PRNG. You can see what I was talking about with this fight and just not coming in here with no ammo, which is it takes a long time to to, to farm up. Uh, meanwhile, Andy in his Ridley fight has got plenty of supers. This should be a nice, nice, easy one. Unless you want to yeet a super into his tail, that's not yeah. where the damage is. Does Vtorp have a confirmation bias emote that I could use when people bring that? Like, I, I'm about to make one. <laughs> now that yeah. you say that. Every time somebody says PRNG, you have to post VT comp bias. <laughs> I'm just gonna post the thanks Solsky emote. Oh man. I the thing I love about the thanks Sol Solsky thing is because uh one of the cutest things in the world for anybody who doesn't know, both Solsky and his baby have matching thanks Solsky shirts and uh, amazing. It is uh um one of the uh oh, that's oh, a bow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is one of the, uh, the, I don't, I'm not allowed to swear on SG, but it's, it's one of the, uh, cutest, the, darndest things. The, the cutest S posts that I've ever seen. Oh, um, okay. It's, if, That's where you're going with. If you're going to, if you're going to S post. S standing for Solsky, obviously. Yes. Yeah, so if you're going to Solsky post, um, that is the cutest way to do it. Yeah. I mean that both literally and figuratively. Yeah. All right, if so you're going to Fogo de Chow post, if you're gonna, if you're going to that man has ate so much. If meat. you're going to two night in a row Brazilian steakhouse post, then that is the cutest way to do it. Yeah, I hope I hope Solsky wrote an apology letter to the uh, the hotel <laughs> oh after God. going to meets two nights in the row. That is okay. There's no cleaning. You need to buy a new toilet after <laughs> that. <laughs> like you could just rip it out. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> And he's coming out of Ridley. Can we go back to the mall rats references from earlier? That felt a lot safer for SG. We were doing mall rat references? Do you not know where the references you make come from? No, that wasn't what that reference was. Excuse me. No, it was from a dating show. I'll show you the clip. I promise you. It's mall rats stole it from that. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I will. Also, the mall rat references are definitely not safer. Like... <laughs> It's literally what you said. Okay. We talked about an uncomfortable place. You said what? Like the back of a Volvo incorrectly because it's a Volkswagen. <laughs> Zebra knows what I'm talking about. Zebra, you're all right. <laughs> hey, did you know this entire room that uh, Annie is in is just a big Ridley statue if you zoom I, all the way out? I, I did know that. Do you, you, know what, do you know what else is true? What? A schooner is a sailboat dummy. It is. That is, that is very true. I literally had a dirt mall in where I lived in New Jersey, so I, yeah. I, I definitely felt. It. <sighs> oh, Lord. So yeah, we do have that bow that was on our list. We've got the bow and the hammer recently, uh, so yeah, that really narrows down the possibilities. That uh, is Amy's Andy's um, Amy. <laughs> is Andy still skipping ando ammo because we're getting close to the end here? He's not particularly close to Mother Brain ammo. We don't have charge yet. Because right now it's just red cane and, like I'm saying, yeah, we're yeah, we're it's real it's, we're red real cane close. at this point. Red cane and oh, we have all three medallions. Well, we have them. The the runners are. Yep. Uh, I believe. Andy very much needs to get to Meridia and get that hammer. Yeah, and maybe um, and maybe ether. Yep. But he'll get. I, I don't really see a situation where he only gets one and not the other. Yeah, I think this is one of those cases where, you know, I think, um, again, my limited understanding of, S, uh, of the SM side of this, but I, you know, I, from everything you've been saying and from what we've been talking about, I mean, I think Maniacal has been making a lot of really great decisions. It's just, you know, uh, that one mirror check and yeah. then Andy's just been kind of getting rewarded, you know, for... Just just with the way Maniacal is, is, is playing, I, I feel like he's... He's either he's either committed to the Brinskip or like 
I kind of play like this a little bit too, where it's like I don't do Brimstone until the game forces me to. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll see how for, like it'll be once we if he starts like start doing like some like quote unquote dumb checks, then we'll know he's like committed to the Brin skip. He might just be doing like I'm just gonna do, I've had so, the, the game has given me so much other good stuff to do. I'm just gonna put it off. Right. And he doesn't have to do all of Brimstone, right? He could just do, um, do like blue. Uh, Brinstar like down to like Red Tower or something. So, yeah, and, and it's very, it's very possible that could be. I mean, unless at this point, unless Red Cane is behind Mirror somehow. Uh, I mean, which is, you know, not unlikely. You have a lot of in Swamp Palace. You have some tablets. Uh, you have, uh, like K forty five and that stuff. Um, it's possible that like he could just put off Brinstar to really late, and when he's already in just. He needs to just meets mirror for go mode. I mean, you can just go down there and just be like, okay, I'm done and leave. Mirror swamp mirror go mode is great, you know. Okay, swamp is a boss. So we couldn't necessarily couple that in with a mother brain kill, unfortunately. Yep. Um, we are getting that East Death Mountain play from Andy now, so this is you know a lot of checks. Um, and uh, with Andy having the mirror, he gets to do this in the most convenient way for him. So. And we'll also be getting our, our Turtle Rock medallion yeah. check. But here, you can so. you can see what I'm saying. We're like, we're we're fairly late in the seed. But there's only one item we actually need, and it's just like, yeah, Paradox Cave just is completely empty a, a lot of times. Yeah, Andy did uh, did fail that hover, and uh, I didn't think that was physically possible. Uh, twice. Wow, it is late here. It is late. He's uh, he's shaking <clears throat> the hands. Yeah. He's uh, getting a little bit of water, refreshing. I will say, like, <clears throat> so they're they're sitting face to face with each other. Uh, obviously, they can't see their monitors. Uh, like, generally, you can't tell what's going on. But when someone is hovering something, it's like that's a clue to like. There's like four places. A he thing is. is happening. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think there's. Of course, uh, that is the silly, most pointless hover. That's like not really giving information. But um, I think there's also there's also the thing too. Like, right, it's going to be like, super obvious when he's in a hookshot. Oh yeah, cave. yeah. Like, not because like he's in a hookshot cave. I think that's like the one. Well, I don't think it is because he has the hook shot. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. So, but 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 you know, there are moments, right, where you, you play these games enough. Yeah. You're watching somebody who you know is also very good, right? Um, you know what they can do. Right. Um, you know, and uh, you can see when their focus is maybe off to the side of the screen, or they're not, you know, right. you know, sort of concentrating super hard. You know about how long the things that they would have to be in the middle of yeah. right now to have the opportunity to look away like that are. Right. And so, you know, I, you know, talking to a lot of the players here this week, I mean, I think we've heard a lot of people, um, both intentionally or inadvertently, perpet, you know, perpetrating mind games on their opponents. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, you know, apparently, you know, Dante keeping his eyebrows raised the whole time. He, <laughs> You know, is in dig game or whatever. I think it's just one of the funniest things I've ever heard about. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, what are you doing? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have the pleasure of having any restreams. I was just off in the the tournament room, so I didn't. I'm I'm sad I didn't get to participate in the mind game. Oh, <laughs> sub -game. We, I, mean, I, I feel like I, that would have been a. I had it in the I had it in the tournament room because I faced off an opponent who specifically said, "I keep my head low so that people can't see my my, my opponent can't see when I'm thinking about stuff." <laughs> so he was like, "Could you see me?" I'm like, "No, I couldn't see you. The monitors were too. I was like, the monitors weren't too tall. I was, I was keeping my head down like a like a, you know like a fighter gun pilot like a fighter pilot or something." I just had headphones on. I was listening to Spotify, so I was just bopping to like the Bengals and stuff when I was while I was racing. So I I don't think people are really getting any. Uh, That's an option too. Yeah, they, any they, real information, or if they were trying to figure out, like it was like they <laughs> something learned, for me. I'm they just... learned about the eternal flame and yeah. or how to walk like an Egyptian or any one of a number of uh, those two songs of '80s post. -punk, Name a third uh, Bangle song. Uh, Manic Monday. Technically written by Prince. All right. If that makes you feel better. It does not. Okay. All right, so Andy is... I don't think there was anything, yeah, over here. Oh, no, Bombos... Okay, that's where Bombos was. Bombos was in Bonkrox. So that'll... Um, and uh, uh, Mandy will... Uh, I keep... Mandy. Every time we've gotten... The Randy, Amy, <laughs> Mandy, <laughs> Candy. Known gamer Mandy Blasso <laughs> out here doing his thing. Did Andy not check the... Uh, sorry, Man did Mandy not check... The uh, the Turtle Rock entry requirement. Uh, 
It's a good question. I, I'm asking because I, I know it's not marked, but I, I actually I missed it, you know, so I don't know if he checked that because – Yeah, he did Hookshot Cave and everything, Sorry. so – Oh, it's Quake. Oh, okay, it's Quake. so he okay. did. He did check it. So he does have it. You know, I was just gonna say because Maniacal is sitting on all three medallions right now, so he is good to go in that regard. Yeah. Well, Andy is good to unless unless Kane is in Misery Mire, which would just yep. be the biggest. What like we're gonna be here for a while if that's the case. I'm just just settle in if that's the thing. But uh, yeah, it's very very unlikely that Andy actually needs this ether. Now, of course, Hammer's in Meridia, so he'll probably end up getting the ether just because he needs yep. to get the hammer, and that's going to lock up some other stuff. Um, what is interesting is uh, you know they both have the bow, but only one of them has the hammer. So uh, Pod and Eastern is going to be a lot more attractive to Maniacal than to Andy right now. Um, so if like Kane's over there, like. You know, we very much again. As long as Kane's not behind Mirror, it is definitely possible that uh, Maniacal, you know, will will get it. And then if he's just doing the like, I'm just putting up Brinstar until I have to, and not like hard trying to skip it, right? Mm -hmm. um, then it is possible like he could just get the Mirror, and then like, he can just leave, and like he would have spent like no time down there. It can also be, <laughs> you know, what the funniest the joke answer is is Red Kane is in Criteria Supers. Because that's the one place that Andy skipped because he didn't have the power bombs, and Maniacal looks like he's trying to skip Brinstar. So the 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 comedy answer for Red Kane is definitely, uh, yeah, Criteria Supers. That would be quite that would be, be quite hilarious. Quite honestly. a thing. Andy is gonna dive into Skullwoods, um, which gives him. This a is an interesting choice. Like he well, still has Meridia, and he's gonna do a pendant. He's. I mean, Go, you know, like, we don't. We don't know if he's going to finish it, but he's got a few options coming out of here, right? You know, he's got. We still have Zora, I believe, available on. Yeah, we on haven't both seen Zora side. We've got that whole area. Um, I mean, at this point, we'll just do it with catfish, right? Well, here. exactly. And so one option is to run out of here to the east. Um, uh, you know, and I think we've also not seen Graveyard Ledge. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, Andy did the fall, and I'm like, you've mirror, bud. Like, yeah. What are you doing? So you know, we've got that as well. Um, the other option is to go down to uh, down to Thieves, right? Do Which a little bit of that. Pendant, yeah. Yep, but Green Pendant. Do Village sure. of Outcasts uh, run, make the loop around, hit Hype Cave, and all of that stuff. Um, yeah. So, so I know. mean, the fir the first like a lot of people just do the fir first four of Thieves. I think like especially with Green Pendant, if you have like two deep plus the Green Pendant, that's like three deep, right? Like that yep. is somewhat attractive, but like. I'll also remind oh, that's you true, that we, but he has we, Meridia. We like, do have that shovel. We do have that shovel. Yeah, that and was the, that shovel, the fly shovel, could make all the difference. I, I, just I want, I want the, the Ken, shovel. To did be you bring there. up the fly thing because of the Ken fly thing? I'm just piecing that together now. No, I brought it up because it was stupid and oh, it was okay. funny to me that you don't know. Sorry, how to I was giving, pants. I was giving you credit for being clever for a second there. <laughs> I, I don't need that credit. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm the one who can operate pants. So that doesn't like, make of you the clever. <laughs> no one's ever like oh, that guy can really put on a pair of pants. He's really clever. No, but when somebody can't operate pants, well, they're yeah, inclined to stand. <laughs> yeah, okay. But just because something's true doesn't mean the converse is not true, right? This is basic logic. That's fine in principle, I'm but gonna, in this particular case, right here, on stage, in front of everyone. Not being able to operate -vis. pants properly is, is, is isn't a sign of, of idiocy. Di you know, change my mind. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let that one go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Monocle finishing off Hera. Yeah, it just uh, okay. So I'm gonna guess that Andy is heading towards Meridia now. Wait, now he's walking. Okay, never, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, this is just such an interest. Like I, again, like I said, like when you do ch like say Meridia, it's just like you are stuck there, right? Um, with, with this, stuff, you can kind of like there's a lot of places you can bail out. I don't. Have we even seen Hype Cave yet? It's such a weird no. Scene. We have. We have not. Right. And so that's the thing. I mean, like you know, for Andy, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. About heading to Meridia, right? But there are so many checks. Yeah, but you like right here. What are our reds, by the way? Eastern and. Uh, Oh, terrible. Never mind. Does not matter. Um, yeah, here I would like because I'm, you know, kind of harping this Meridia thing, and because Hype Cave is sitting there, I think like Hype Cave, Pyramid, Catfish, Zora, um, and then into Meridia from that portal makes a ton of sense. I think it makes more sense than this. This, this, which is this all being pendants. Like, 
that, that's a ton that's a ton of stuff over there you got me ready you're gonna get a boss kill from this there's no boss over here right that, that you need to be killed so yeah i, I mean it's not like this yeah. is you know bad i'm just sort of like it, it feels you know maybe or i i don't i don't know uh he could just i don't think necessarily he's like necessarily trying to counterplay maniacal or anything here um, it's just, you, there's so often that you do this, like, there's so few seeds that, like, you have, like, just Velvet Outcast not touched, but this is one of the seeds where it just doesn't feel like the seed is really, like, pulling you here at all. I mean, honestly, you know, and something, like, it, it, it... And especially coming in here, if he is thinking of going, he doesn't have the hammer, so he might actually abandon an item here. He might, although he got a, I mean, he got, he just pulled three, I think, out of the front. Yeah, okay, so... And so, you know... I wouldn't go deep here. We'll see what he does, right? Or no, he pulled two. Two, sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, he's just he's bailing, around. right? So, uh, you know, honestly, we could be talking about all the logical reasons or the item yeah. density. Re I mean, it could very well be I need a break from Super Metroid right now. <laughs> it could be. You know what I mean? I mean, like, th there's any number of reasons why making yeah. this really, really easy run could be very attractive. Yeah, but I'm still going to analyze it. Like, well, of course you are. Well, but we I'm just talk about my fly for the rest of the match. I'm of the, fine the game. with that, but I don't think everybody else would be. So, for me, you know, I, I think... What's going on in the mind of the gamer? I, you do, know? I do not want What's him to get that voice head. <laughs> I think it's... Uh, what's going on in Andy's mind right now? He's saying, if I do that... Okay. Um, oh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever had it just bounce back into my head <laughs> before like that. I think that's what's going on in yeah, his he, head he in that caught, moment. He caught that he, off the first He bounce. dug one, and, really then he and then he just said, okay. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, I guess I'm continuing on. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen K40. Yeah, any of this stuff. Yeah, it's yep. just a, just a, such a weird seed. Well, there's Char. That's actually that's actually. Big. I was saying, I was chastising for Super Saiyan ammo. That does save him from all of that. And walked behind that mirror. Yeah, that is true. So if, if, if Maniacal does... No, I think Maniacal is a little bit better off ammo-wise. So if when I'm sort of like... Uh, and he just feels like in a better spot overall in the seed, uh, I, I would say. Um, I mean, there's still a lot of game to go. I mean, who knows where this cane's going to be. Yeah. Um, you know, if Maniacal... It, well, Maniacal's got to spike the cane, and he's got to get back to that mirror. Um, so I, I think Maniacal's best chance in this is, yeah, like doing your mirror being your last item... <laughs> And then you put off Burn Star until, like, it's your only, you know, real good option. And then hopefully you do blue first. Like, he, if he does um, just does uh, Burn Star the normal way, he'll, like, basically do that last. And it'll be kind of annoying. And he won't really make any time there. Yeah. I mean, I think go mode mirror is definitely what you want on, on Niacal's side. And I think because I, I think my understanding of what's going on here, I think that Andy has a much more straightforward set of reasons to get back to that hammer well, than... Oh, that's right. I was about to say Andy is technically... Yeah, I mean, you're not going to put off Meridia for too much longer. I think, honestly, he's going to... Honestly, I think he's going to Meridia here. I, think I mean, he has, he has the flippers. He can, you know, he can just head there. Yeah, I remember when I was saying, when I said the hype cave up to Catfish and all that kind of stuff. I think he... Oh, no, never. He's just going to go straight down. Or Is not. he going to do... Wall? Tablet. No, I know. I know what I was saying. I just... This felt like... Isn't it? I thought it's fa if you're gonna do tablet and uh, hype cave, it's better to do. No, it's better to do hype cave first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's assume you end here. If he is planning to go up to Meridia, then like, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Where, we'll see where he goes. Broke the, broke the seal. Oh, book in. Oh, right. Well, there's your high jump boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. That that makes more sense. Book was it? You couldn't have done that beforehand. Look, it yeah. is late, and <laughs> it's been a long week for me too. So I, I apologize. I like, yeah. Broke the seal. Like, ain't even drinking. That was a really quick three kill with the bow. With the, I. Yeah, that's a. Like, I guess that's his plan strat. That's kind of weird to do the, the extra one, but. Uh, it is. I mean, it was fast. So. Um. So Andy going to be a Giga Gamer and check the first chest in uh, in Swamp Palace for his hammer. Now, this did happen to me this week. Oh, no. And I did tell Andy about it. So I wonder 
if it's poisoned if, his brain. And now are you gonna claim? Are you gonna claim partial credit of the, the trophy if that's red gain in here? No, I'm gonna feel bad because I, if I poisoned his brain with this heinous nonsense, then I I feel a certain amount of guilt. No, I'm saying if red Kane's here, like. Oh, if it's here, then yeah, yeah it's one hundred percent my responsibility, and I am the, the best. Uh, okay, it's a big key. A little nervous there. Yeah, that's a really conservative play. I mean, again, though, you know, it's the type of thing where. Oh no, no, no! I, no never mind. I take it back. I keep forgetting he doesn't have hammer. The, the problem is like it's impossible to get back here, right? So um, I, I think that's actually fine. And he can't. That's right. He didn't have. He can't go up the pyramid. So I don't know what I was no, talking about. No, he cannot. Well, he could have gone east, right? So the real the, the decision point was either he was going to, you know, continue on eastward from Graveyard Wedge or he was going to go around to the south. Right, right, right. Well, he yeah, or he can do it this way too, right? If he wanted to go all the way up to Catfish and everything. Yep. So he will get the Zora checks here. I'm actually wondering now if we're going to do Ice Palace on the way. Uh, hammer. With, I know, but Oh. No, you're going to do him already. There's no way he's going to hammerless ice before. He that, that checked the be... first chest in Swamp. I mean, I'm, you know. Yeah, but again, that's because to get back to Swamp, you have to go all the way. To get Ice Palace, you can come here whenever. Totally like, get it. I'm just I'm just saying, you know, I mean, it depends just how out there he wants to, to hang I, himself, I you know. I can't believe he'd be that out there. That'd be, that'd be crazy. Nice Armos kill from Maniacal. Yep. I'm surprised he's doing this first and not Pod. Oh, he doesn't he have, the, have mirror. the mirror. He doesn't yeah. have the mirror. Right, 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 right. I would still do Pod first, honestly, just like because the mirror could be there, mm, right? I don't know. To, to I, Maniacal's mind. I think with the. Uh, I mean, Why is he going back in? I'm not sure. What did, did he like leave right side and just got oh, lucky? He, that? he he might have. Oh, 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 he didn't, that's that's what it is. It, he didn't do, um, this is, uh, I don't like this, it's super, he didn't, uh, since Big Key was early, he didn't do the last chest he was hoping for, oh no, he just didn't do right side. That's a really interesting. Well, but B I guess he just got lucky that Big Key wasn't here. Right, because Morphball was. Morphball was the first chest in Eastern. Yeah. Yep, so Andy is swimming over, making his way to uh, Meridian now. This is, buddy, this... Why do you want Death Warp? Because he doesn't have the green... I'm confused. He didn't have the mirror. He probably wants to dash down and go to... Well, okay. Uh, all right, the crowd is trying to signal to me, and I'm just horrible at miming, so... <laughs> Do I look like I play for the Astros? Like, <laughs> I think what Fred was trying to say is... Oh, I he's going to pot. Okay, yeah. that's why. Instead of having to dash all the way back over. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Ground pound right there. Yeah, so Andy... Uh yeah, and he's gonna be up on his the fast track to his hammer, and then so yep. he he will be officially just down Kane. Uh, Maniacal's gonna still be down two here. Um, again, gotta get back to that mirror at some point. And if you're rooting for Maniacal on this one, you just do not. If, if it's behind the mirror, I, I really don't see any chance Maniacal has. Um, but if Maniacal spark, you know, sparks the red Kane, just does all his dungeons, and then when he's sort of out of like the the big things to do, like instead of doing like dumb checks and really leaning into the Prince or skip, if he just does it, and maybe even better does it in reverse, um, you know, that's a, I think that's his most straightforward path to, to taking this yep. thing. Yep, so with that kill, um, Andy Maniacal gonna be all tied up on the boss kills. Yeah, and he only has two dungeons. I guess they both have two dungeons. Oh, did Maniac? Maniacal did kill Ridley, right? Yeah. Yeah. He didn't go to Des. Oh, he doesn't have the mirror. Oh yeah. my god, I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's kind of the whole it's crux like, of the it's thing. It's like Groundhog's Day with me right now. I'm yeah. so sorry. Like, 
why didn't you go to that? We, uh, well, fortunately, well, we're speaking of failing over and over and yeah, over yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. Have but you the checked book, your fly? The book. Yes. <laughs> Uh, the book is in Hype Cave, so like that's an easy out for Maniacal. So it's not like he's got to re lava dive or anything because of that. And Flute might just pop up somewhere again, giving him easy mirror access. So. Yep, but having the hammer on Maniacal, so oh I mean, baby. This, this is this is full clearable. We're gonna out Andy the Andy right oh, here. Oh, we're going for it. We're gonna get the. See here, he, he's playing those mind games. Andy's like, what is he doing hovering right now? Yeah, like so. What uh, is this? You have to like clip in on like a specific pixel. It's uh, that's definitely one of the the more challenging ones. We I didn't hover hear that one. Oh, 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 oh. oh what okay. a yeah. oh okay. Uh, so apparently, uh, uh, well, I didn't see it from way over here, but uh, apparently Andy uh, during bowling alley was fake hovering. <laughs> to, to try to confuse Maniac. I've never loved anything so much. Yeah, that is. That is the most cursed gamer. Yeah, yeah. that was that was a while ago. We just didn't see. I, I, he wasn't actually doing it on his like, so I didn't hear it. I think he was just like mimicking it. That's fantastic. That's a that's a good move. Yeah. That is classic Ineb gaming moment right there. Like he is really. I feel like the only problem with that it was like too early for him to be hovering anything sensible for that long, right? So I feel like that one you can sniff out. You never know. Yeah, you never know. You never, you never know. Who knows what was in Brent Star? Yeah, Tristan came to see and he was hovering in bowling. How do you hover in bowling alley? I'm like, <laughs> is that some sort of tech? I'm not. Uh, I mean, this is a shine spark. That's kind of like hovering, but. If you were a gamer, you'd know. Yeah, that that's the next that's the next evolution of SMZ3 is that the. Uh, Samus will play the A Link to the Past parts and Link will play the ESM parts. I where, feel like Samus will handle that a little bit better than Link. I feel like Link's kind of in over his where, head on, on Zephyr. Where is the absolutely cursed buff Link sprite for a Super Metroid? <laughs> Maniacal, please. Yeah, it's a, one th those. Uh, I've just said it, so I've willed it into existence. Yeah, I, Some I'm sprite it. artist is going to make it happen. Buff Link for SM? I want big, burly, like, yeah, buff yeah. link. Like buff link for a link to the past, or buff link in in SM. In SM. No, right? I want buff shirtless link. I want buff link in a link to the past now. Actually, honestly, yeah. like, is there a Kirby a link to the past right? Yes, there definitely oh, okay. is. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's been around forever. Generally speaking, if you have the question, is there a blah yeah. sprite for a link of the past randomizer? Yes. The answer is yes or soon. Yeah. Or it's something horrifying. <laughs> the answer is still yes. Yes. I don't know. The buff Kirby is pretty bad. Uh, seeing Aussie play as the chair in SM, though, is, is also quite the experience. I, I got to say, the thing that I am, the, the new technology that I am most excited for um, is absolutely, hopefully, there will be an official supported release of the buff eggplant and buff pug sprites because they are two of the most cursed things I have seen in my entire life, and I love it. Yeah. It's fantastic. And he did pick up the screw attack there. Like I was saying, it really only helps you in lower Norfair. Um, it actually can slow you down in like terrain a little bit sometimes. Um, in this situation, I think it would honestly be better just to, to have, have uh, skipped it. But because uh, Andy really doesn't have a lot of SM left, he just got a little bit. Yeah, he's just like walking to the front here. Like it, it's not really helping him at all. So, but it's my like we don't have fanfare here. It's not. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind fanfares in SM. I think that would encourage a lot more uh, item skipping. It would make the game, you know, longer. Obviously, and this game is already long enough. But um, I think it'd make people to be a little bit more tactical about what they pick up. There is a little bit of tech too, right? To dodging the pickups, you know, in some of the rooms. Yeah, that, that definitely. Gets a little bit interesting. There's, so. there's, there's a bunch of. Um, I tend to skip a lot still, just because it, you know, it's still like. 40 frames or whatever it is to pick it up. Uh, it's not, not not the full seven second fanfare. Right. Yeah. But um, there's some rooms that like if you like to do a turnaround, like uh, the Edicoon's power bomb is a good one. Like I just blind run into it just because it's like it's harder to skip it, you know. And like I said, the, the fanfares are not that long. Yeah. So, so and he does get his hammer there, and he's just I think just going to scout crab supers here. 
That was a quick scout. Shoutouts to Azur, by the way. Yep, Andy, thing. don't have to blow... Oh, I gotta show him the thing. You can just morph on morph right there, and you can clip right through the, the, the mm -hmm. tube. So really, I, I unfortunately learned that from Solsky, which is oh, shameful. That's, yeah. yeah, that's cursed. Um, so, you know, at this point, it's really just going to be a question of, you know, who finds that Cane of Samaria, um, because I think... Well, Cane of Samaria, and then even, even if it just falls in Maniacal's lap, he's still got to work his way back to that mirror. So, yeah. like, that's some, like, Andy just being one from go is obviously just... You know, no, I a mean, much a better position. Andy is in a great is in a great situation, but the the longer we go without that cane of Samaria, you know, the the more out maniacal potentially has to get over. Yeah, there I mean that, that is that is true. I think so. Yeah, it's, but if he's like, it's, it's, it might more make him go back to Burnstar a little bit earlier, because um, if he's still like two from go, then it's like okay, I really can't justify not being in Burnstar for much for much longer. But yeah, we're kind of like getting down to the the corrupt stuff. I mean, we have you know the Meyer one is is the worst possibility. Uh, I guess we haven't seen. Oh, we have we haven't seen uh, ice or swamp at all. So we we still never mind. We we still got some decent places for it to be. Uh, with icebreaker, most people tend to delay getting um, or delay going to I, uh, Ice Palace until, the, uh, and, you know, until you find the red cane. But when red yeah. cane's your go mode, right, like, you know, I would do it after Swamp. Maybe you have a nice go mode uh, ice, but, like, yeah, like, we're not really going to be worrying about that anymore here. Yeah, I mean, I think, and you know, again, uh, I brought this up earlier. You know, if you are a player who thinks about trying to pursue things in higher depth spheres, right, ice, pretty high depth. Right. Right. There, there's, there's a lot in your way of getting into Ice Palace. Right. Logically, and uh, uh, so you know, uh, things do tend to show up there. Yeah, um, that is true. Swamp has the density. Ice has this really interesting set of logical checks uh, in front of it. So but and, it looks like we're going to get Pod and Eastern for Red, from Andy. Red oh. King is just less likely to be in. Uh, ice at all because with a certain key layout, layout it's impossible for it to be there. That is true. Or it was well, possible to be after it, right? Yep. Yep. Andy going to be able to do uh, do pod in general um, a little bit faster with that mirror, um, but also obviously being able to route these in on a single go, not having to do the the taking a death yeah. shenanigans, not and having to do any of that. Maniacal is going to be getting his uh, mirror here. Uh, he's going the long way. He's doing this the whole, the whole way. The thing is, is he's, I was saying you really want this to be your go mode. The thing that he's since he's two from go on on this, like he would have been full clearing there everything any, anyways if he yep. went the other way. Although I guess like because he had like done some of this stuff over here with his with his early s scout, you can make the argument that if he went the other way, um, well because of the early scout, like going the other way maybe it makes more sense. Ooh. Wow, that's yeah rare to his speed too. It's actually I almost always mo I've, that, I've had that happen to me once or twice. Like you actually have to start the speed like pretty far to the left. That and like SM runners are just so naturally doing one taps that like this is one like you actually want to hold it immediately. Right. And uh, yeah, that can kind of just like happen on accident. I want to say plasma was over here too. That's why uh, Annie's had it forever and uh, maniacal doesn't. Oh, got the reverse. Yeah, because you already went up top. I got the reverse mock ball. Very, very nicely done. That's pretty hard with, with just speed. It's pretty awkward. Nope. Oh, are we gonna? No. Nope. This this hover just does not want it to happen today. Apparently. Andy wants it to happen. Yeah, Andy but also, also going to bail on it. So yeah. no no corrupt hovers from for us today. We're also getting to the point where we're like we're 146 into the seed. Um, getting to the point where it's like reasonable that someone could potentially finish a seed, and this seed has been pretty straightforward, I would say. Um, it did require like there's there was something in 
Well, what? No, there wasn't something in Lower Norfolk, was there? I, mean, I guess you had to go down there for your flippers. Uh, that was in Mire, but like, it mm. looks like that's your only access. Um, you know, starting to get up on the point, like from next like ten minutes to the point where like, one of these guys potentially could feed and finish the seed. That's, you know, relatively straightforward. So that's something to probably start playing on their minds a little bit. Yeah, that nervous time sort of. Yeah, the, the second, the, no matter like how good or bad a seed is, the second like you cross the like, you know, time that people can reasonably finish the seed in number, you know, you start like. You know, in, in like, if this was online, you started checking race time chat, or, or in here, this could be like, I think that this is like, probably a little bit, so your opponent would just like, do something obvious in front of you, so it's less like, yeah, less like you have to like, go and check something, it, it's gonna be immediately obvious when, when, when they finish, but, uh, yeah, I was sort of thinking about that at this time, um, I don't necessarily, I, I wasn't playing with a timer at, at all, I don't think they necessarily have a timer front, so like, that's the other thing, you don't like, know what the time is, um, yeah, if you don't have one running, it's very difficult sometimes yeah. to, to sort of gauge, you know, yeah, exactly. how, how, how am I been. tracking, right? How am I doing, you know, relative to my normal performance? I think the flip side is that, you know, both the good and the bad thing is both of these runners have a lot of experience playing each other across multiple games. Yeah, I think, you know, and, and so it's a double-edged sword. You know, I think they um, know enough about their opponent to know, you know, to feel like they have a, at least a good idea of maybe what, you know, how far, how much right. wiggle room they might have against them. Yeah. But the flip side is that... Which is um, none. <laughs> like. Yeah, you know, the, the, the flip side of that is that that also, you know, can make you nervous too because both sure. of them know that. Maniacal, you have wave. Maniacal, okay. <laughs> he yeah. does that even with wave? Oh, man. But yeah, nice little... Oh, here's plasma, okay. Yep. I apologize, chat. I just got the yawns. So yeah, if all, it, of, if it all of you guys start yawning soon, I apologize. I, it's my I fault. Did. I, I, oh, did you start it? I, I was also oh, yawning. Oh, then a it's little. your fault. I've been holding, I've been holding a yawn in for about a good like forty That's minutes. That's why I'm yawning. Point. It's your fault. Yeah, it's all, it's always my fault. I, I knew know. it. Yeah. Playing the. Uh, Alright, so yeah, Andy got this Helmet Sword down, so yeah, we're just kind of just cleaning up uh, just what each player has seen before, so yeah, I think the big interesting thing is going to be, and I assume Andy's going to get there sooner than later, is going to be the Swamp and the the Ice. Um, wouldn't be surprised to see Maniacal also beeline that. Um, we're pretty close in dungeon count here. Andy will be ahead once he finishes... Eastern. Yeah, he'll, he'll have four. He'll, he'll be up that desert palace. Yeah, that player. desert palace. Which honestly, the desert palace might actually—if we don't—if a flute doesn't show up, uh, my knife was gonna have to re lava dive, which is a non-insignificant amount of time. Yep. Yep. And uh, you know, Maniacal is definitely keeping this this close, but the that double lava dive might actually be the difference. Oh, he has book. That's right. Yeah, we don't. We don't. Never mind. Which is still slower, but not nearly nearly as bad. Not having book on the tracker here yeah, is very confusing for me. Yeah. Might as well not exist. Who, you know. I'd say you get used to it, but apparently not. <laughs> I at least know what is missing down there. Like book, true. book lamp, uh, power, you know. All the all the fetch modes aren't down, going to be down there. Grapple's not down there. Yep. This, this is the one down. The SMZ3, you can have so much divergence. You also have the, uh, uh, the you know, people covering what the other person's already covered phase can be be quite long. So, see, this would have been the time to talk about the fly story. I You broke it out way too no, early. look, I... Now we need another story. I talked about it when I needed to talk about okay. it. Okay, well, now you need to talk about something else. Because <laughs> we have <laughs> nothing to talk about. <laughs> Can we talk about your sense of self superiority about the Bengals, which clearly didn't pan out for you? My self, what self? What? You tried to. You were like, name a third Bengals song. If you're such a fan of the Bengals, name every Bengals song. I didn't say if you're such a. Th I was just saying they only had two songs. I guess they had three. No one remember. They have that. a lot more. I, you know, 
They have Going Down to Liverpool. They have There's a lot of songs. Okay, I, I didn't. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were the, the Bengals expert. I'm not a Bengals expert, but I, 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 I did listen to that album. Like, okay. I, know, I know the songs on the album. So presumptuous. <laughs> presumptuous about the Bengals. Yeah, it's you insist upon yourself with they respect do. to the Bengals, and it's just it's a little bit much. Oh, that's right. Andy did clear most of this dungeon uh, earlier, yep. so he's just really just clean this. It's just never going to be faster. He's never going to be closer. So just no, doing this it here. is this is just an easy slam yeah. dunk decision to make. I think the question oh, is. Oh, I, I do want to say. I remember I said the the comedy answer for where Kane could be. Yeah. We are going to see it right now. So this is. This is the check that Andy skipped this because the, he was yeah. yeah because he was low on power bombs at the yeah. time. Now it's not that hard to get back like it's not that far to get back here. It's just like when do you actually kind of like commit to it for, for Andy if this is actually something. So and five it's arrows, five arrows. So. Yeah. No comedy today. Yeah. That would have been funny though. I would enjoy that. Yep. So you know, is the assumption here we think right that Andy finishes this up, probably heads to Swamp in the Nice. I think they're both heading to Swamp and Ice. Like they're 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 like neck and neck. Like I, I'm pretty sure it's the case that they've pretty much done everything else uh, each other's done. Uh, the only difference is Andy has that desert. Yeah. Yeah. After all this, it's it's uh, it's surprising how how close it is. They they are right literally like literally right on top of each other. I can't think of really anything that. Uh, did Andy do Croc? Oh yeah yeah that's right. There was something down there that was. Or no, behind Croc there wasn't anything. There was just the gravity on Croc Escape. But I don't think there was anything behind Croc necessarily. So yeah, this is the swamp play for Andy, so this is going to start yeah. being big. The, the other issue that uh, Maniacal has, because he had that late mirror, Andy was just able to do all of this, uh, all like the K45s and the Grave Ledge. He was just able to do that pretty naturally. Now, granted, there's nothing there, but it might be weighing, especially if, like, Swamp ends up being nothing, it might start weighing Maniacal's mind about whether to, to actually go there. Yeah, I mean, I think the good thing is that, you know, if the plan on Maniacal's side is to head over to Swamp, right, um, K45 and Bombo's tablet, not too bad. Yeah, I know, mean, to, it's to, just, to especially to when you're one for go, the standard is to do those two first because yeah. Swamp has the whole left side. Graveyard conundrum. Ledge is going to weigh in your mind. Yeah, but, Graveyard but Ledge. The other, the other two, not so bad to get to. We've got the boots. You know, we can get over there. Yeah, not like for I said, free, but fairly quickly. Yeah, these guys are going to be right on top of each other. I would be, I, I kind of expect the Graveyard, or not the Graveyard, the K45 and Bombos. Because that is, that is a pretty meta play to make if, you know, you're going to Swamp um, and you're one from go. Uh, you yep. do, you and check Andy is end. even a few seconds more ahead because he's That's true. already, he already checked, did this, this the one, this <laughs> one check. The one chest, so he's just running in. Oh, and hype. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, it turns out, fun fact, Maniacal didn't have the book. So I was right. Technically. <laughs> Technically correct. Yeah, the best kind of correct. Yes. You're gonna tell me that that was, you That's, know, that was my plan the entire time. No, yes. but you're gonna, you're gonna tell me that that was like a married with children reference or something after you mistook the, <laughs> the mall rats reference for whatever you thought it was. I'll show you the clip. I can't say what it is. Okay. But I will show you the clip afterward. Okay. Do the young people even know about married with children? Like, is that okay? Good. Oh wait, no, I got it. Back. Thank you for nodding. <laughs> Actually, I'm just realizing I got it backwards. It's, you, were, you were right. Okay. Thank you. That was very painful. To do. <laughs> Try to tell me about Mall Rats reference. I wasn't telling you. Well, I didn't think it was a Mall Rats reference. That was a dating game reference. Do you remember that there was a dating game? Yes, I did remember Rats? that. Yes, thank you. I. Yeah. Okay. I'm the one who actually watches movies, not the one who makes up their own alternate movie in okay. their head. We're going to have a conversation <laughs> about this now. <laughs> so, uh, well, hold on. Let's, 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 let's at least let's, watch let's, the new checks. Yeah, let's about watch that. the, the, the do back our of jobs Swamp Palace properly. first, and then we're going to have a conversation about this. This conversation is going to be going over when the runners are finished and we're trying to interview them. That's this, how long this, this is going to take. This is the interview. They're <laughs> They'll enjoy it. It'll be fine. 
Yeah, so nothing so far. Um, I mean, I guess we could maybe see my Maniacal hit left side before Andy, you know, does if he's Yeah, if this is the situation way, I do left side. With big keys won the first two chests, uh, I, will, I will do left side first. Um, less likely to do that when I'm one from go, though. So, yeah, yeah I think one for go, I wouldn't do it. But, like, if this was, if it was like, two or three... Uh, I would do left side first with big. I think the, the one thing that's for sure that I think it's very unlikely that we don't go back in on Andy's side though. Yeah, I don't know. Do you know the count, Ace, of how many we have left? Uh, is it just yeah. one? Even, even, yeah, even yeah. so. Like, for the I, ball. I, I, I mean, at this point, if Samaria is on the left. Right, uh -huh. you're gonna go go mode ice, which is gonna be great for you. Right? Yeah. If it's not over there, or if it is over there and you skip it, you're toast. Yeah. Right. So it's, and so it's at least two left side. So yeah. So I think it's three. Fortunately, we don't have quick swap, so we can actually see menus in this game, as God intended. I don't think she has anything to do with randomizer. No, that that would be the other one. This that is randomizer is definitely a creation of Satan. Yeah, Alanis did not create. Uh, oh God, did not create randomizer. You're just gonna go through the whole Kevin Smith discography at this point. You like, started it, and are you now gonna make a Tusk reference at I'm some point that no it. one's gonna understand. Poor Justin Long. He used to be so cute, and now it's just not going well for Maybe him. Maybe it's not that it? movie I told you about. Yeah, and I'm just saying. So, Maniacal is just going yeah, left. Going, going so, left. I, I he feel is like going to beat Andy to those checks. Yeah. But, so, I mean, this is the most efficient way to clear this dungeon. If you're going to full clear, it's yeah. the way to do it. So Especially with when you already have, like, even the big key in the back, it becomes less efficient again. But because he had the big key already, uh, yeah, this is the most efficient way to full clear it. Um, so he is going to gain some time overall on Andy, um, but Andy's still going to be like purely ahead after this. Oh uh, yeah, I mean for sure. But the flip side is that you know if if he does pull it first over here on the left hand side, you know it's again he gets that mental shift and yeah. knows that you know he was, but not going to happen. We got yeah. a we got a bug net. Yeah, the issue for so the, if it is in Ice Palace, this is. Uh, I mean, unless Annie just doesn't go to Ice Palace for some reason, which I, I don't see happening. That seem that would seem shocking to me. Yeah, that would that would seem like a kind of a, a questionable decision. But uh, if it is an Ice Palace, this is pretty much Annie's race to lose. Um, you know, he's just like, even in this dungeon, he's ahead. And on top of that, he's got Desert Palace. Desert Palace is not the longest dungeon, but it's still going to add a, you know a minute or two to to Maniacal's yeah. time. Um, here's so here's the question: uh -huh. If it's not an Ice Palace, well, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna where be in, like, is it? <laughs> you know. Uh, Shack tool. Sure. Um, you know, or we might have to go back into Thieves Town. Sha we might Shack tool, to to or like we really Skull haven't. We yeah, we haven't seen any Skull of the Woods, pendants at all. You know. Um, What's our third pendant? Meyer. Oh, right, Meyer. Oh God, I, I I said before the word if we don't if it's if it's Red Canyon Meyer, everyone should settle in for a long a long seed. The one place it can't be though is Ped, but Meyer might as well be Ped. Yeah. It can be on Green Pendant. Yeah. Like, see this like this is the other thing with SMZ three is like. Um, like, in Unlink to the Past, you'll see, like, early pendant dips done sometimes. There's just so much to do in SMZ3, like, you never see them. It's like, all the bad seeds are just, like, there's one item in a pendant. And this is kind of how they always play out, which is, uh, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that particular quote-unquote feature of, of SMZ3, where it's just, like, put something in a pendant and the seed's automatically bad. It's really hard to sniff them out in this. Yep. Whereas the link to the past, it's like, well, I have all this stuff, you know, like. Well, I think again, the logical chains are diluted a little bit. Yeah, because right? everything's so diluted. Like, you know, I, I had even on the SM side, I had one that was screaming lower Norfair because I had gravity, uh, Varia, and and space damage just ended up being nothing. So like, SMZ three is a lot easier to red herring. So like, the SMZ three players tend to like follow the clues a little bit. Like, there's still definitely a seed reading and just like kind of yeah. like. I think it's less seed reading for SMZ3 and more like. Oh, I said he was going for Icebreaker, yeah. Uh, without the, it just it's so so uh, normal to do, but um. Yeah. 
uh, what was I saying? I didn't even process that. Like, I, because it looked normal, and then he was not there anymore, and so it was slightly confusing. But also, you were talking, and, and yeah. that's confusing. Yeah, it is very confusing. But yeah, I was saying it, it, SMZ three tends to be less like about the seed reading because again, there's, everything's diluted, and you can look possibly at that, huh? look at that boy. Huh? Yes, yeah, very good. The only person who can do it. What even a gamer! Maniacal do it already. It's only cheating if you can't do it. That is correct. Does that mean like? EG's not cheating because I can do it? No, it does not apply. No. Um, but yeah, it's less about it's less about seed reading and it's more just about like managing risk and like, you know, downside risk and everything. Like I said, like even though like Meridia is like this big area, right? It's like if you do it, you're committed to the whole thing, and if it's nothing, then you've lost a you know, a bunch of time. So yeah. the yeah, the the way you look at the seeds I think is a little different. Like there again, like, there is still seed reading, but um it, it I think that happens a little bit more, not so much, like, for your last item, it's it's pretty hard to read the seed, just because, like, it could just be anywhere, like, there's yeah. so many, there's been, there's so many seeds where it's just, like, there's nothing behind mitts, uh, just because, you know, again, everything is a little bit diluted. Yeah, so Andy feeling the full force of the pain here. I mean, doing exactly the right thing here, but... I'm surprised Andy never remembers these rooms. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the real... Yeah, the probably real, not, because he just walks right into that spike. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the, the real the real issue here is, like, you know, the best thing about Icebreaker is not even, you know, getting to skip ahead the dungeon and, and save on some of the rooms. It's that your odds of having the keys you need to route some of these right, harder-to-get-to yeah, yeah. rooms more efficiently is just way higher. Yeah. Um, So. Yeah, it's just it's a uh, full clearing ice palace. Uh, I, I bef before icebreaker, ice palace is one of the dungeons that like players really like to put off because uh, go moding it was just so much faster than yeah uh, full clearing it. Now, and, but, if you have, if you have Samaria, I mean, I, I would argue it's uh, at worst sort of a medium. Yeah, you it's, know, it's dungeon not. With, yeah, with the, it, it, uh, icebreaker definitely changed the meta around ice palace a ton. It also used to be the thing that you would uh, that, like. It was pretty meta to never sequence brace by ice, uh, fake flipper to ice palace, um, just because like flippers could be like the last thing you get everything right, and because it was so slow, uh, icebreaker has changed that. You will see the, the fake flipper to ice palace yep. a, a lot a more abs now, absolutely, especially in SMZ three. Like we flake flipper to ice palace all the time, and no one blinks. <clears throat> So Maniacal going to be finishing up his uh, Desert Palace here very shortly. We'll um, even things up uh, momentarily uh, with that clear. Andy will then obviously, you know, be ahead the um, the Ice Palace clear. Andy did finish Swamp too, I think. Um, We're all so very tired at this I, point. Yeah, like. I mean, I, you know, it's... Uh, it's been a long, hard week. It has been. It has been a long, long week. Yeah, I I could not imagine playing this game right now. I'm <laughs> I'm kind of glad I'm over here. Honestly, you know, the fact that we're all vertical is a testament to our gaming prowess. There's been three or four so. times I've considered putting my head down on this table, but I'm regretting the camera being here all of a sudden. The crowd does have the luxury of achieving like a 45 yeah, degree the, angle. Yeah, I wish we could get a nice. shot of the, cr the crowd I'm because very, they're all in various. Uh, I'm very jealous of the the ability to recline. They, that, yeah, that, that the, looks cra the best way to describe right the crowd now. right now is they've assumed the crash position. So. <laughs> yeah. So one boss going down as Andy drops into another. Just to be really straightforward with uh, as, as well equipped as uh, Andy is. Yeah, I mean, with uh, you know the butter sword, it's um, you know three three slashes yeah. uh, and uh, you don't even bother for poke dash trap. No, with, it's, uh, it's 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 basically it's basically just a kind yeah. of a free fight. Yeah, you can see how qu quick the cutscene there is for the. Yeah, the, that's the insanely token. fast. It's yeah, like there's just sure. no animation attached yeah, to it. No. I think that's even faster than. The I th yeah, it's definitely faster than yeah. this too. So where is Andy going now? Uh, I assume we got to be doing pendants now. Like, well, it looks like we're actually going to go to pyramid. Oh, and right, right, pyramid. catfish. Yeah, yeah. Um, we did see uh, Zora though, at least from Andy earlier. We did, we did. Did we see from Maniacal too? I would think going to Waterfall before Ice Palace would be the smarter thing to do. 
I don't Not that this remember. is necessarily I mean, doing a dungeon first is never the wrong answer, but... Again, if you get the if you get the game there, then you get the go mode icebreaker, ice power, which is gonna be really quick, yep, right? Yep. So, I mean, it's, it's it's one of those truisms, just like go to where the item is is the fastest. Like, <laughs> yep. No, I mean, so this pyramid location is one of those real feels bad. Oh. Is that the mushroom? Yeah, that is the mushroom. Okay. Speaking of which, we never saw. So we're definitely going to catfish now because. Uh, yeah, we can just do this. On you the know, way. with with I mean, if there was any doubt that you were going to do that before we with the mushroom, you're 100. percent I think we did see there. the shovel. Did we ever see powder? No. No. Yeah, that that has just been kind of forgotten about. It's one of those things. Powder is one of those things that like, or magic bat check at least. Especially when we don't have the. Uh, oh, I was hoping anyone was going to do it the right way. You can actually mirror on the bush there to get the, the mirror monk, which is the fastest way of doing these screens. This is, that's like the hardest. I've never gotten that spin speed for some reason. I, I, I don't know it's what I'm pretty, doing. It's pretty tight. Yeah, yeah, it's really weird. Oh, well, there we go. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to... Yeah, it, it, and he's got a pretty commanding lead at this point. Uh, I believe all he has to... Oh, he's got to do... Not, not my. He's got, just has to do turtle rock. Yep, and Ganon, with and, with and fast Ganon brain. as well. There's and no, he's got charge no beam. So he does, yeah. There's, you know, I mean, he's pretty well he's set a, up to just rock and roll to the end of the game. He's there. in a pretty commandy lead. Well, as his number one fandy, you Excuse are certainly me. one I'm to talk best, about it. So I'm at best his number like seventy fourth fan. At best. But you wish you were number one. Yeah. Well. He's already. I can't, we all can't get a ring, okay? So. I mean, it's just not throwing them out. Maybe if you paid more attention to him, you would get. <laughs> Maybe if you called. Call, it's to, who calls anyone? I don't know. I can't call the doctor without having a panic <laughs> that's attack. True. Much less Andy. That's, that's true. Yeah, so Andy heading into Turtle Rock, going to be, well, yeah, with, uh, he, in both games, you're pretty kitted, kitted out. Uh, really, I think the only item we could possibly find anywhere that would speed us up is Ice Beam. Yeah, because that would give us full beam, and uh, Ice, it makes the, the Metroids a little faster. <laughs> Besides that, we are, we got Bow, we've got, yeah, so we're just, yeah, literally Ice Beam is the only thing we could possibly want. Well, we do have laser bridge, and uh, you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna check anything extra for it. It's it's well, no, ice beam does help a little bit. Laser I, bridge I is fast, and you know you, there, you know obviously you're you know if you're wishing you had it, you're hoping that you're short of small key. Yeah. Well, and the right? other thing is it could just be so. in GT, and again, again, I would mention this because it's the, we tend to do the like, oh, there's one item that can that can speed me up. I'm gonna do some checks on the way. That tends to happen less just because it is so much less likely. Sure. That uh, so honestly, I don't think we're going to see any. I mean, we'll see laser bird tracks until he gets the key. I will say that out of all the rooms, by the way, that make me appreciate the fact that SMZ3 did not go down the quick swap rabbit hole, it's that room in TR because I feel like that room has just lost all of its uh, all of its skill and allure. Why don't you just still pause in that room? Uh, because it's faster to let the thing go around and quick swap to hook shot and hook shot up to the torch instead of. Oh, um, okay. It's a little bit, it's a little bit oh, less yeah, savings yeah, yeah, on the yeah, screen, yeah. but it, but it, right, 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 without yeah. the menu, it's, it's faster. For a second, so. I thought you, people of QuickSwap were just not hookshotting at no, all no, for no, some no, reason. No, I was no, like, no, you could no, still no. pause. No, like, no, you can't no, pause. No, no, not at all. But it's just that, that's, it, there are many screens that I think are actually more interesting with QuickSwap. That's one that I think got just less interesting and less uh, skillful. Yeah. With, uh, with QuickSwap. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm against Quit Squad because it's just like you're, it changes the game so much. Like you know stuff like that, you have to completely relearn and everything. It's just I don't know. Yeah, like, you know, I mean, I, I, it's a different game. We're talking about you know a game that doesn't have Quick Swap right now, and we're talking about Quick Swap. But you know, I, th I think when I look at those kinds of changes, I, I've I've been converted a little bit. Um, oh no. I, well, no, I mean I you know I believe in maintaining At the two emo. Yes, but I, I, I believe in, you know, uh, I think there's a lot of important skills that should continue to be emphasized. Um, but I think that the reason I've come around on Quick Swap is that it 
adds as many new skill opportunities as ones that it takes away or changes. And so I think there's some very cool quick swap room sure, tech that has been developed. And I think that my that, main thing that for SMC3 is we've raised the skill ceiling by adding another entire game. So and we I don't that, need to yeah, raise it anymore. Right? I think that that's to a totally you know valid thing. I'm just saying that's why sure. I sort of come around on it because I think it's it's... When it first came out, it honestly just felt like the entrance rando players had corrupted everything, and sure. you know. Uh, but I've come, ar I've come around on it. Just shaking my SMH over here. I'll still blame the entrance rando players for a lot of stuff, but well, uh, but I think, but I, but, but I think that you know, the flute. I think that quick swap is fine. The ye old flute effort it doesn't matter. That thing's never getting turned on. There's, yeah, there's no, no reason to. So and he did steal the key here. The question is, like that pyramid play is not necessarily like the most obvious thing to do. Like when does no. maniacal even necessarily? I mean, I guess he's that's kind of the most dense thing for him to do, as well. See, so, so like so I don't like this rounding from maniacal because he still he still has catfish, right? Like why don't you just go do that routing and then just mirror and do this stuff yeah. after catfish? Yeah. Um. Yep. And I think the reason he didn't do that is because it's what like twelve twenty now or something like that. Uh, it could very well after be, again yeah. like playing in a game for a very long. It's not twelve twenty. What time is it? It's twelve. Oh, twelve forty. Forty. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think that's the main reason. It's just it's so just very late. Andy has a key. He is checking Laser Bridge. So, I'm you know. just for ice. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Oh, I mean, again, if you know, if you, if it wasn't fast Ganon, yeah, I don't think you check those necessarily, right? Because you got a ton of opportunities in GT if you choose to go there first to try and pull the ice beam, right? But I think that in a, um, in a, in a world where we have fast Ganon, right, there are no, uh, he's not the, checking anything. The else, problem is ice doesn't save you fast. that much anyway. Like, I mean, it is faster. Well, it probably saves you a good twenty to thirty seconds, honestly. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty big. But. I think he at least made that come out to be a wash, right? If he had gotten it there, um, at worst, it would have been a wash. And I think it would have been a savings when you consider all the metrics. No, if he got it there, it definitely would have been a savings. Yeah. But it's just it, it's so low probability that, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Because, like, he just has so, – if there was more – if he didn't have, like, high jump, there was more things he could have pulled. Sure. Then, then sure, right. But the fact that just literally only one. So I mean we're we're arguing about the details here. If Andy is still oh I mean, that's why the Minaco caught up so much. He never did any village of outcasts. Oh yeah. Yeah, because remember the, the race had really tightened there for, yeah, for a yeah, little bit. Yeah. What? Oh, ice ice beams on Trinex. Oh good. Yeah. Well, well there you go. Know, literally, yeah. literally nothing now. So we have everything we could ever want. This is gonna be really fast game, really fast mother brain. And uh, yeah, so Annie, Annie's gonna finish around. Uh, looks like gonna finish around like a two twenty four, something like that. Like about eight minutes for Turian, two minutes for Ganon. Yeah, and the rough thing for Maniacal here is, you know, are you now gonna go into Thieves Town? Yeah, probably. I mean, Maniacal's just uh, kind of, just kind of got lost. I mean, the, the pyramid is the thing is. So with pyramid, uh, like at least for me, like when I play just Link to Pass, I never know when to do it. And the way I like to, I tend to like to do it in combo is I do Pyramid, Catfish, Meridia. And Maniacal's already done Meridia, right? Um, I think he, he, he did do Front of Escape, too, so sometimes you can combo in a Pyramid with the Mirror, right? I mean, yeah, you're but, never going to get, pi obviously Pyramid Fairy is never going to be a thing with Total Rock Red, Red Crystal. So it's like, I never know when to check Pyramid. It just feels like such a gross, there's things it can combo in with. But when Pyramid's just hanging out by itself, like it's well, especially I mean, when it's not, it's not even just Pyramid. It's Pyramid to Mushroom, you know, uh, right over there because that's that's the chain that that he yeah. Needs but to like if you're doing him, so. because he has no cap, I feel like Pyramid plus Catfish just makes too much sense, and then obviously it's just on the way at that point. So I, I don't I don't really think it changes anything. Sure, I, I think I find once you find the mushroom, I think your next thing to do is mushroom no matter what because sure. you were probably going to catfish anyways. Honestly, the only question left is if, if Andy's going to finish before Michael finds the cane. 
So that's actually this is. It could very easily both, happen. I mean, because if he's going to do this, maybe Skull as well. Both the online mm -hmm. and the in-person SMZ3 came down to who got the cane. That's kind of funny. Yeah. That's going to be a real quick uh, gain and fight for Andy, yeah. unless he Andy takes a bat to the face. Andy All right. <laughs> opting to go for the bonus spin, despite about being about to pump four silver yeah. into him, which is... Um, that and also like deciding to like try to Highlander him by standing directly in front of the bat. Nope. This is this is a uh, almost one I am Ganon, yeah. if I've ever seen one from Andy. <laughs> A little bit loose. Yeah, I think Andy is probably most excited. Win or lose, he's most excited that there's there is only eight minutes left of of him having to play the uh, SM or any length of the pass or SMZ three for for a little bit. I think there's certainly a good chunk of that. Yeah. Uh, going I mean, we all right we now. all love these games, but uh, four days straight of them can be a bit much. Yep. But yeah, that's what you're saying. It's it's when you're a gamer, you just gotta you just gotta play even more. You just got a game. This is why you throw hard like me. Like you can, that way you have an actual vacation. It's an option. Yeah. And I'm, I'm even going to let you say what you just said and, and pretend to let you believe that it's true. Okay. <laughs> I did throw, which is unintentional. <laughs> Unintentionally throwing is not throwing. It's just losing. <laughs> Okay, miss three and oh and I, three. I didn't throw. <laughs> <laughs> I got randoed. All right, so Andy heading down to his mother brain. Maniacal, gonna be pulling off this blind fight. Oh, you guys skipped the cutscene as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And mother brain. This that's also as a random thing. That got the mother brain stand up is gonna be fast as well. Okay. Which really throws you off sometimes. Do you get used to it? Yeah, and thank God, just like these seas are so long, it's just like anything oh, that, that no, speed no, no, up I think, the end I, here I, is. I think it's great. It's just it's always interesting to like notice these little. Well, things. I did say ice speeds up these rooms. We have to actually hit the metroids with ice. I think, when, you know, when I'm watching SM players, I think that when you get a really, really, really good set of Metroid rooms where people are really, really on top of the grouping shots yeah. and stuff, I think they're some of the most satisfying rooms they to are, watch. They are, they are the, some of the most difficult rooms in the, yeah. the entire game. I mean, Annie had a pretty quick uh, Metroid rooms th three there. Um, if, if you haven't really seen it, like, you might think, like, that was pretty impressive. Like, that, that's, you know, what Andy is, is pretty difficult. Yeah. But compared to, like, the actual, like, top-level strats, like, how fast you can go through those rooms is... Is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, just I mean, again, watching, like, I, again, know, like Zenny or Cutie doing watching Cutie strats. with his deformed hand. Yeah, you know, is very impressive. Whose, whose thumb no longer works. Yeah. Cutie is basically like Groot at the end of the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie, where he just like wraps his hand around the controller and then it dies. I think Maniacal might know where Andy is just from that exas that is that is the I threw <laughs> baby skip so hard uh look if I've ever seen one. Andy giving his you know, this this look. Yeah. Careful consideration of his gaming position right I think, now. I I think this is the first time we are seeing the uh the magic bat over here. Not not gonna be anything useful, but All right, so, I mean, yeah, this is going to be a really straight mother brain, straightforward mother brain for Andy. Yep. And, you know, in terms of the actual finish time here, not actually that crazy, right? I mean, this is... Yeah, this is a pretty... Know, this is pretty um, good finish time, I think, for these, right? Yeah, yeah um, when we... Uh, before, like, fast Ganon, like, we would say, like, 2.30 is, like, a... 2.30 is probably, like, the equivalent of, like, a 1.30 in, mm -hmm. in a length of the past where it's, like, it's a good, solid, you know, time that you get. I know we say it's probably more like a 1.20, uh, which is a pretty fast time. 
Um, and then you like you know you take about a solid eight minutes off of that uh, for you know uh, fast scan and really speeding up the end, end game. Yeah. Andy having a little bit of trouble with the uh, Zeb skip there, but uh, made it through in the end. I think he had a very similar Zeb skip in his race the other night too. I honestly wasn't paying attention to Zeb skip. I'm sure it was fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right there. The mother brain just automatically stands yeah, up. So yeah. full beam just going to be 20 quick shots. Don't know. We'll see how tired Andy actually is uh, when uh, whether or not he does stand up. Many many a gamer has decided to not do stand up because they are very very tired and they just hope it doesn't come down to 30 seconds. Manakwa is going to get that charge beam though. Yep. At this point, he probably knows he's he's certainly in trouble. I mean, it is only 220. Like, Maniaco is thinking he's either in trouble or this thing is just so buried that, um, you know, this is just going to be settling in for a long one. This is an opportunity to sort of meta game right here. That if like, okay, it's, this is either this is either about to be over or Kane is so buried that like it's going to be a long yeah. one. Then that's why Andy hasn't finished yet. That he has the opportunity because he thinks he might be a little behind, anyways. Instead of doing these like more obvious checks, just go like, okay, time to time to roll the dice and do a mire or do you know the, the do do a pendant. But yeah, yeah. But it is the case that Andy is is about to finish. Uh, yeah, I was very uh, concerned. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna be here for another ten minutes. Yeah. So fortunately, it's uh, fun. It's funny because he's so far ahead that yeah. it's, it's not going to matter. But so uh, fortunately, when we did, re we did we get just the save at the <laughs> ship. So <laughs> I, uh, I feel like I feel like I've just been here. <laughs> so emo, how many mother brain deaths is it going to take for Andy for Maniacal to get back into this game? How many Ganon falls is one mother brain death? Yeah, I is, is Andy going to go? Is Andy going to go back to Ganon and fall a couple times on Ganon just to even it out? Like, yeah. How many fly drops is one mother brain death? I feel so terrible for Andy if like he like kind of like senses that people are laughing in the room <laughs> after he just died in mother brains. Like these guys are jerks. Like what the? I'm gonna lose this and they're just laughing at me. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that little punum. It's looking real stoic. Do I have to commentate this again? Anyways, it's real nice when you see these Metroid. Let's see if he actually shoots the ice head. Hey, there you Look go. Look at that. Okay. That one was better. Yeah. That was some prime gaming right there. Speaking of which, did you guys know? Don't don't do the spiel. <laughs> Chat room, hear me out. <laughs> no, Sorry, not, I'm not I'm not actually allowed not to, to copyright infringed known gamer I ate your pies uh, speech on speed gaming. I think uh, he put it on a website, so I'm literally legally not able to do it. Oh, that's how it works. If it's on yeah, a website. It's, when you register a domain name and put oh, up a, okay. a research paper on, on <laughs> like, things get serious. What song should I sing then? <laughs> Why don't you sing a fourth Bengal song? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, second chance to get Babyscape right. Yep. Oh, much better setup. Very nice setup from Andy here. Oh, Ooh. should have been. Yeah. See, he had it, but he lost confidence. Yeah, he. I think he was fine if he just went to the wall on the first one, um, and just you know, it, this is one of those reasons where it's like for baby skip, it's like, you know, um, if you're learning this game, you kind of put it off because. Like, when you miss it, you've actually wasted more time, you know, especially if you miss it late like that. Yeah. Uh, then if you just, like, didn't bother going for it all, and you still have to do every, all, all this stuff at the end anyways. you so. got to just believe in yourself. I you do have that's to. Gotta, thing. You or gotta you got to go for counterclockwise baby skip, which is the new corrupt thing. It looks very cursed if you haven't seen you it. you got to stop making excuses and execute. Oh, God. Now, now you're copyright infringing. 
Look, we're... This is, uh... We're killing time while Andy does Mother Brain 4. I'm, do I'm doing legally permissible parody. I think that's what's happening here. It's Mother Brain 4, the search for Mother Brain 2. <laughs> is that the one where the baby Metroid gets shot out in space at the end? It's a, yeah. Yeah. And the whale is there. There are the whales. The whales? Isn't there the one with the whales? Yeah. There's what are one you talking whale. about? We're talking about Star Trek, right? No, we were talking about space balls. Oh. <laughs> I hope he's not getting references. It's fine. I thought you were doing the search for Spock, but you were doing the search for more money. So I get, I get it now. Yeah, which was a joke. Yeah, I was. Never mind. I'm yeah, not I even. know. I'm just saying. I, we've had this happen a couple of times where I've been going back to the original reference. Right. And you've been okay. going with the spoof, and it's sure. because you're derivative and you gravitate naturally towards such things, and that's fine. Hey, going for stand up again. That is Mother Brain 5 down, so we will be moving to the stand-up phase. Yeah, I didn't see what happened the first... It must have been... Like, if you don't damage down fast enough, Mother Brain will Rainbow Beam again. There we go. All right. Now, as long as... There's still soft lock potential, but Andy uh, should be able to navigate most of them. We also have X-Ray, which eliminates some of the potential ones. And Maniacal is... Did Maniacal hit the... I, I was I'm mostly watching Andy here. Did Maniacal actually go to the pyramid there? Is he going back to Pod? Oh, so he did get the mushroom. I Remember when I said, like, it's, he's definitely going to... He's going to turn in the green pendant. Oh, he's turning the green yeah, pendant. And yeah, and then he's going to go dash out, if I had to guess. Well, I've never seen... He somehow, somehow jumped while getting crouched animation? I haven't seen that one before. Okay, so Maniacal is saving and quitting. So uh, this this cutscene does progress. You do have to have uh, the baby get hit by the onion rings here. Yeah. Uh, so every time uh, Mother Brain misses, it does make the cutscene a, a little bit longer. Okay. It, it is going to be... I think this is one of the worst feelings in Rando is when you find your uh, go mode item and like two seconds later your opponent uh, dot duns. Yeah, but that's literally what we're about to yeah, see. Yeah, it's going to be very not yeah, quite it's be not quite two seconds, but it's going to be it's going to be a little over very a shortly after. So yeah, this is what happened to me in in my finals match as well. That as soon as I realized like you know I kind of like was playing my last cards. Uh, that was my last outs, and as soon as I was out all that, like, Aussie finished, like, a minute later, I was like, he just put me out of my misery. I'm like, thank God. Like, yeah, yeah. It do be like that sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, Andy, couple rooms away from wrapping up this uh, SG Live tournament here. What do we think the odds are of him dying to steam on the way out and having to do all that again? Well, since the steam doesn't cause any damage, I'm, I'm going to say so, pretty low. So zero. Yeah. Okay. I don't know these things. No, I know you don't. You didn't tell me that the steam didn't do damage. Sorry, I didn't tell you about the steam or... damage in my... Uh, here's the important thing to know about SM talk we had. Seems very important. There's Seems a lot of steam. And apparently it's entirely safe. Well, none of this steam actually even does it. It's the steam up top that actually will knock you back. But mm -hmm. So there's actually two different types of steam. Sure. <laughs> Fascinating. Most games, you get one type of steam tops. This is how you want to end? This is how you know it's a great game. All right. Annie is going to be finished here. We'll just level 2 Give him a big round of applause. The one thing I got to say, we saw exactly the same amount of mother brains as we would have seen if both runners uh, got through. <laughs> So, Annie was just doing Maniacal a favor of killing his mother brains for him. 
So we will be getting our runners over here uh, shortly for, for an interview. Yep. I think since I have the middle headset, we'll have them sit left and right. Sure. So. Well, but I have... I guess... Oh, we can just do this. Yeah, all right. We'll just bring this over here. Blah. Sure. So if we're going to do that, then are you going to scoot over? Yeah, I'm and now I'm going to... Right? I will scooch. Do the scooch. Blah. You get this, the same treatment as Lang's with the nice, the nice wet seat. <laughs> It's sweat. <laughs> it's check, warm in here. Check your fly. It's Make up. Sure. Okay. It's disgusting. Why do I got to be Italian? Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> Please don't go down that road. This is anti-Italian yeah, discrimination. Okay. <laughs> Andy doing his congratulation handshake tour. Yeah. Andy will now dip his left arm in the butterscotch pudding. Yeah. As is tradition. As is tradition. This is, this one would be yours, sir. Look at that. Maniacal, you couldn't have another not tall one to add to your collection? Do you have yeah. any idea how mad Duck is that he doesn't have one of these? I wanted to put the Miller High Life on it so bad. You have no idea. <laughs> So, GG's to both of you. Um, it is so late, I don't even remember what happened in that scene after that mother <laughs> incident that God. happened. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right. I, I, uh, so, I was setting up for stand-up, and in between getting rainbow beamed, and when you're, you know, you're actually supposed to do something, my brain just, like, turned off, and I zoned out. Oh, you got rainbow beamed twice. Then. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah, then I was did. like, oh, God, I'm supposed to be doing something right now. And then, my, like, <laughs> I didn't realize that I just shouldn't do anything at that point, and yeah. I damaged, and then I had, like, 100 in my yeah. reserves. Yeah, and you were, you were uh, Maniacal had just gotten his go mode by the, by the time he finished. I don't know. So you dying was more of a comedy moment than anything, but I felt so bad if you didn't notice the crowd laughing at you dying to mother brain. You're just like, wow, this is the biggest room of jerks I've ever seen in my life. He yeah. saw it like he he heard me like throw my controller on the table when I missed baby skip twice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I missed the ball over. I did the ball over. The too second early one looked so much time. better until it did. Oh though. yeah, I know. That's yeah. why I was so mad. I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, this is the easiest part, and then I messed it up, and I was yeah. just like. That, that last oh jump God. will get you, though. It will. God. Yeah, it was more of the setup jump going in. And then oh. the, yeah, the setup yeah. jump the first time got me, and then the, the yeah. more yeah. over the second time. But I feel like we're all feeling the, the time here at, oh. at, at this point. So. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was a, it was a fun, fun race. It, it was actually, I was kind of mentioning, kind of uh, echoed the, uh, the final, the online final, where it was, it was still up in the air who was going to win. Uh, and but it just depended on where that 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 ren, red cane was. Um, we, we were we were the maniacal. Your main thing was uh, if we did if we did find red cane, it felt like your biggest possible out was coming back to Brinstar and finding the mirror, especially if you went reverse. Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed like you were putting that off a little bit because you did the early dips that just didn't pay. Like you everything you did early just did not pay off. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Andy did the the early Brinstar again. Got the sword that really helped him early. Um, I mean, you were guys. You were guys were like neck and neck at at, at cer uh, certain points. So it was definitely going back and forth. Uh, but really fun, fun, fun race to watch. Yeah, absolutely, it was so hard to read in the middle. Yeah. You know, um, between the, ha I think the the hammer, the mirror, and the cane were really sort of the three items that became interesting. You know, in the end, and maniacal, you were first to the hammer by a good margin. Andy had that mirror for a million years. <laughs> And I then don't even remember where the yeah, mirror and, was and, anymore. And the mirror was, it was old mother brain, I think. It was yeah. old oh, mother, and that yeah, was the yeah, one yeah. Th like the, the you went for the setup yeah, for, yeah. The for the uh, the, I, the glitch, and like if you had gotten that, you would have been able to brain skip completely, right? Yeah, and I, I would have probably. Yeah, you yeah. probably would have. It just depends on when well, you. I, run I, into I don't that know cane, about right? pyramid. Yeah. Yeah, that is like the, like when you route that in, especially with pyramid fairy just being a non-issue. Yeah. Uh, like I said, a lot of times I do like pyramid to catfish to Meridia, but you had already done Meridia. Uh, I guess that was the one issue. Like yeah. I was really surprised. So I, I gotta ask, how was the the TR key layout? Um, I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, w was it two items on the right side, or was there a small key on the right side in the front? It I was think there was two small keys and the big in the front. Yeah. Okay. Then yeah, I uh, I had to get the cane. <laughs> Oh. oh, oh, were you going <laughs> to? Okay, all right. Like, I spent like an hour looking for the cane. I'm like, would it have been faster to just ignore this crap? 
<laughs> and just hover the thing? The whole thing, yeah. yeah. But, like, I can't do the right side. And well, so yeah. I think only key, one person's ever, like, most done it layouts. in, like, in a practice yeah. round, never in a race or I'm anything. I'm going to be yeah. completely honest with you. <laughs> if you had done that, I would have put in the cash to buy another large trophy. <laughs> And given you both the large trophy, regardless of whether you actually yeah. won or not, yeah. because that would have been the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen happen. I, so. I was go minus Kane relatively early. Can you yeah, imagine if you both got to, of them I mean, did that? I, yeah, I would, that would, I would pay yeah. cash money. I wasn't to even that. thinking of that as a possibility, yeah. but yeah. I was just like, the key layout's probably gross. And yeah. Only maniacal. No, <laughs> yeah, no, that's definitely a, that's a maniacal only and special. We did we did see a lot of failed hovers hovers today. We though. did, yeah, I uh, did. including including the the bowling alley at hover, which apparently is a new one. <laughs> oh yeah, the I, what? I, I hovered while I was bowling to like try to get a reaction out of you. Yeah, <laughs> I I did it for like three seconds. Yeah, like really really loudly, uh, yeah. and then stopped. <laughs> yeah. And then I found boots like not that long after that. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. like the one thing that you it, can actually – because I was joking about that. It's like the one thing your opponent can tell when you're doing is hovering. Yeah. So, yeah. Did, did you uh, get Varia early? Yes. Okay. I, yeah, I, was I, I did I, Bryn into Retro and Direct Ship. Okay. And then I went into – I did Croc into High Jump. And then when I went to Death Mountain, I got Pearl. And I'm like, okay, with Pearl, I can you know, do all the Dark Worlds. Let's just clean up LN and then leave – and then I can do Dark World into Meridia Warp, which ended up being like the worst thing ever because Hammer was in front of Meridia. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I think you're full clearing Meridia no matter in this scene, yeah. no matter what you come yeah. in. So yeah, with it gravity just, it, where it was, yeah, it's hard it, to dodge. It just felt bad. Like yeah, dude. I mean, you know, Hammer was why I skipped Smith Chain. Uh, I skipped. Uh, that's another thing I skipped Smith Chain. Okay. Um, <laughs> it, it it didn't have Kane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, back at Thieves Town. Um, and then yeah, just finding the hammer. I, I dipped swamp without hammer because I was like, Oof. I've had so I've only had bad seeds this entire <laughs> week, so like icing on the cake, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, it felt pretty good. Like even with that hammer relatively late, it still felt like an hour that I was looking for that smart. Yeah. Yeah, like generally like the fast seeds are one where you have like an empty meridian or an empty lower. Like you had to do lower Norfair, you had to do meridian in this one. So like finishing in like two thirty. Well, okay. 224 plus we'll call it <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's still pretty good for um you know the fact that you still had to do it like again like a lot of the fast seeds which is like you just skipped a whole part of super Metroid. you still had to do all of super metroid and a brain star had something rick shape had something like there was one in like the, the like, big like four uh locations so you had to do all of it and uh we were we were actually hoping for red the the comedy special would have been red cane on uh criteria supers because you didn't have enough power bombs uh, to go in, so uh, when when my Michael finally found that, you know, that that yeah. took that the comedy option off the table, unfortunately. Sadly, so I think it was just five arrows. It, it was I the think plus it was five capacity. It was yeah, capacity. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was gonna do cat like at that point with how late I got hammer and how like early I figured maniacal got it. If it was at Smith Chain, I was probably losing. So I was gonna go just kill Mother Brain after Catfish and then do Shaft mm -hmm. on my way up. Uh, you can't you do that because you, can't. you can't. can't open the power bomb door and. Yeah. Well, you could just transition, and then that resets the Oh, state. yeah, yeah. You where can you transition and go back down. Yeah. Yeah, where are you going to get the power bombs from? Oh, you are drained. You know what? <laughs> that's fine. Tired brain would have yeah. would have figured that out on yeah. the fly. Transition. <laughs> if soft you reset. <laughs> refill at the ship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. So on that note, I will say, you know, I think both of you, right, made it quite late into multiple tournaments. You know, and watching you guys go through the frankly pretty brutal, you know, schedule late into the night playing multiple nights in a row. So the fact that you're both vertical right now and we're able to even begin to approach this, I think, um, you know, deserves some kudos. But I, I would ask both of you, you know, like with regard to that, you know, how do you think that d did that play into how, you know, how you guys were feeling tonight and the way that you were playing? I mean, because I, I would be dead, you know, so. Yeah, I've been tired all day. Yeah. And yeah. I slept a lot. Yeah. Uh, to make up for yesterday. Uh, yeah, like I, I couldn't stop yawning before the start, and I was like, I got to wake up. Yeah. Like yeah. somehow. We were, we were, we have them, we're the ones with the mics, and we were just like trying to like stifle it the entire <laughs> yeah. time. So. 
But uh, yeah, I think on that note, we'll. Uh, uh, I think we're gonna have uh, Tracy come up and and talk. We'll just. Uh, I mean, is there anything else you want to? Th- I've just cut you guys off, but I know we're all tired, so. No. Yeah, um, I think think that sums it up. Yeah. The mother brain death summed up exactly how I feel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just. Uh, I got so, I got some uh, some licks in on you on that one, so. <laughs> I I could hear. <laughs> I couldn't hear you specifically, but I could hear uh, everybody laughing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, including yeah. myself. Yeah. I was like. Amidst all the the anguish in that yeah. chair that I felt, I was also laughing a little bit on the inside. <laughs> yeah, the the laughter was not timed with events on my side of <laughs> no. the seed, and so I was like, pretty sure I know how this the, is going. The, <laughs> the joke involved the word the, the phrase "mother brain five has been has been successfully yeah. killed. So, <laughs> so but I yeah, always get you, but yeah, not too much else that I, I want to say. Just GG to Andy. Yeah, um, GGs. Yeah. Feel lucky to have even earned a split in our, our series that we've played across tournaments the past couple days. Yeah, I'm, so glad, I'm glad tonight was just as quality as last night was. <laughs> yeah. Last night was also something. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, GGs. Yeah. In the top four in both tournaments is yeah, wild. Absolutely, absolutely crazy. Yeah. So, it, As Duck and Emo have said, it was very fatiguing, but um, yeah. you know, I'm sorry th- to feel th- that that's well. not me legitimately complaining. That would be a bizarre no, 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 thing to no. do, no, but th- it was a lot of fun. I think this is just something for everybody who's watching at home, right? Just know, like, you know, as impressive as what these guys, you know, uh, showed you tonight is, I think if you knew how tired they've been and how grueling the schedule is, it's doubly impressive. Like, everybody who's made it to this stage in these things has really gone way above and beyond to to make it happen so thank you guys for doing that and ggs again to both of you yeah so i think we're gonna have uh tracy uh the admin of the the tournament come up and uh have a few words all right okay (laughs) all right we're not free yet i gotta get my rolls (laughs) (laughs) bag of rolls dude rolling out with rolls <laughs> um, may- maybe after. <laughs> All right, I got a lot of people to uh, shout out and thank. Um, so I'm going to let these guys go pretty quickly, but uh, congratulations to both of you. Um, Maniacal, we've known each other for what, four years now? In fact, Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, I'll never forget the the, the cross product plando that that I watched. He's still trying to get me to play it. I'm like, I watched Maniacal play that thing, you know, and bonded with you. And you had that weird bots wound fight with the with the supers. Yeah. Not intended, apparently. <laughs> apparently, yeah, not intended, but creative. Um, Andy. Oh, we didn't know each other very well. I met you for 30 seconds at SGDQ. You probably don't even remember. Um. <laughs> this is super heartfelt. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really neat to to get to talk to you a little bit more at this event. Um, so really happy that this this all worked out this way. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better final. Um, Michael, grab your trophy. Andy, grab your trophy. And one more thing, I'm going to say, Andy, <laughs> I loved the bowling cover. Those guys completely missed it. <laughs> Later on, when they're talking about that that uh, one one up mission, I had to go tell them, you know, like you know, and you tr- pretend to hover at Boeing. So you you know, maniacal just completely ignored. Him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I oh. even tried to like shake the table a little bit. No, he, so, like, he like put yeah, yeah. it out there, like yeah. it was yeah. way yeah. out there. I, I I did similar a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, thanks for playing. Congratulations and. Um, if you want to stick around, fine, but I'm not going to keep you any longer. I well, think I'll, I'll step out, but appreciate it, I Tracy. really need to pee. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we've been I, sitting I, for I, like I three will, hours straight. I will straight. be back to, to listen to Yeah, go, to go the, take the care end. of business. All right. Uh, Rick can come and get set up as well because he's going to close things out in just a little bit. So just a few things. Um, on the SMZ three shot side, I want to shout out a few people. Um, the money winners we had uh, Flip Heel win the consolation bracket. Uh, quarterfinals were Crescens, Apathy Duck, Solsky, and A Zero. Uh, and from semis, we had Ikir and Asazas. Uh, especially want to shout out all our commentators uh, A Zero, Duck, uh, e- Emo, 
uh, Kelsey for joining me for the Andy match yesterday with the uh, uh, required space jump on Lumberjack, which I hope never happens again, um, and Langseon. And a couple extra shout-outs to Duck for, one, uh, grabbing Langseon so that we had enough crew to do both races last night, um, and also to Duck uh, for suggesting Emo as the co-com. Uh, you guys killed it. Um, and, of course, trackers. You all know I always call those trackers our MVP. We had Ikear, Link Force, Jester, Zoots, and Ace uh, doing trackers uh, over the uh, last few days. Uh, one more interesting shout out, not really an SMZ3 th thing, uh, but just to show how cool this event is. Uh, a bunch of us went to lunch at a local diner, uh, the Amphora Diner Deluxe, and a guy by the name of Douglas McClure, I want to shout him out. And the reason I want to shout him out is he came to us and there were like 13, 14, 15 of us and he says, are you all from that, uh, that gaming thing? And I'm like, we're all like, oh, yeah. We picked up your tab. I, I picked up your tab. He picked up our tab. Had to be like a $300. We never even saw the bill. Had to be like a $300 tab. Paid the tips, everything. Um, so I want to shout that guy out because, wow. <laughs> like that, that was just absolutely amazing. And uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to Rick. Thank you very much, Tracy. Once again, congratulations to Andy on the uh, tournament win. And thank you for extending our Speed Gaming Live by a whole six minutes. <laughs> also, thank you to Mania Cole. Congratulations on second place. And, you know, when you make it into the final four of uh, two of our bigger tournaments, that definitely shows how great of uh, gaming skill that both of the Andy and Maniacal have. So GG's to both of you and congratulations from all of us here at Speed Gaming. Also so special thanks to Tracy for doing a lot of the admin work over here for this tournament. And with this, we are going to say thank you very much. This is going to be the wrap for Speed Gaming Live 2022. It's been a lot of fun. Everyone who came out here to Hilton here in Herndon, Virginia, uh, supported the event either on a, on air or online. All the people that were in chat, you know, special thanks to MAGFest and Games Done Quick for helping to bring some of the equipment that we've uh, been able to play on over the course of the last four days. Uh, big special thanks to all the uh, tech crew that came on by, helped us out, the race proctors, the... You know, the many, many hands behind the scenes that just made this event happen. And we are definitely very, very thankful for all of them for making this as great of an event as it was. But, of course, you know, we definitely got to give it up to, I mean, the people, the viewers. Thank you very much for coming on by. The contributors who helped uh, fund all these prize pools. I, I don't know what else to say. It's late. Andy cost us six minutes. But Duck, Andy saved you 25 Duck and Emo wound up giving us quite a blast here to end this out. They gave us quite the ending here to Speed Gaming Live 2022. I can't think of a better way to end it off. So once again, thank you all. Don't forget to go to Speed Gaming or sglive.speedgaming.org slash 2023. Help us out. Get us uh, to the next one next year. And we'll uh, go ahead and talk to you all on Discord. From all of us here in Herndon, Virginia, good night, everyone.